Well, that was appropriately unsettling. Hello. And also... It's... Hello. 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 We are I mean, I'd be more surprised about you getting just something mundane, but there's a lot, like I said, a lot of mundane stuff in here. Yes. Like coffee and machines we... and lights. And yes. shelves yeah. now. I just got a 1950s TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. I just got a hole in a wall. A hole in, uh, yeah, that's good. That's a good one. <laughs> It's, it's kind of more tricky. I remember when Drawfee did their first SCP thing. I remember thinking, these are all popular ones. This wasn't chosen randomly. And now I know why. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and even then, one was just some bugs. <laughs> some bugs. Oh, I've got, I've got a good one along those lines coming up. Um, <laughs> I, I was testing things out to randomly generate them and I came up with some good ones. So looking forward to that. Hello. We should introduce what's going on. Hi. We have friends. We have Chip, we have Christy, Hi. and we have Ragdoll. Hello. Hello. Uh, and we also have Drawing, uh, which is here. It's there. That's where it is. Also names. There they are. Um, yeah, we're doing... It's the 10th Bring Your Own Wiki stream. We've done 10 of... Well, we've done Yay. 9, but we're doing 10. Um, so I thought we'd do something special. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do the SCP wiki. We're all doing the same wiki as it, as it began. Um, yes. Only we've moved from heroes to monstrosities. Um, yeah. So this is my little my little warm up collection of SCPs that I remember. There's uh, concrete strangly friend. There's unkillable lizard, plague doctor, old AI, and ball of string with eyes. Yeah, That's yeah, no, the usual ones. The usual. We've also got our obligatory uh, opening cat doodles. Which is nice. You always need a cat. Always need a cat. It's great. It's good luck. I'm so busy with getting the coffee machine twice. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> so it, the, there's a bit of a cool down on the random button, which is a bit annoying, um, which is why I tr decided to generate some in advance. Well, I didn't decide. I, I was testing it out and I came up with one that I just really, really want to see someone draw. Um... I've tried to generate some in advance and it didn't work. <laughs> I got some boring ones as well. Don't get me wrong. I got oh, a pyramid you go in and you hallucinate treasure and if you stay in it for six hours, it disappears and you die. Ah! Um, now that'd be easy. You know the you, so boring. Usual. Yeah. Um, yeah. There we go. Fantastic. Done. Well, that's the first one, Dan. Um, yeah, so how is everybody? <laughs> I haven't even had the chance to say ask how people are. Because I'm late, as usual. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Still very yeah. rainy around here. Yeah. I, I've been house-sitting and I have yet to have to do anything for the lawn because every time it's like, hmm, maybe I should water the lawn, uh, the sky opens up and does it for me. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> nice. So that's convenient. Square. I've been very busy today. Because uh, I got a surprise chicken for my uh, little chicken family yesterday. Um, and it decided... It wanted to be the neighbor's chicken, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just cats. <laughs> apparently not. What's this? Oh, wait. Um, so I know, I know yesterday was an RPG day, but we finished chicory. Um, mm. And I 100%ed I that this morning. So that's, that's a good time. I, I recommend... I recommend it. It's a good game. I recommend 100%ing it. It's not that difficult. Even though you do have to draw a horse. Yeah, that was that was a thing. <laughs> it was annoying. So oh, is your f then they bigged it up as well. <clears throat> it's like oh, the ultimate challenge, the ultimate final drawing you've got to do. So, oh, okay, yeah, sure. It's just this was deliberately made to annoy me, right? <laughs> yes. Um. But yeah. Chicory, chicories are good. Also, you get to do more things with, um, 
but chicory. <laughs> you get to do more things with chicory after the game ends, which is nice. Um, I won't spoil what they are, but they're very nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Right. Uh, should we? Should we get? Should we get going? We've already. We've already okay. done. We've drawn some already. Some viruses. Some pyramids. Coffee machine. <laughs> the usual. No. Uh, what on this picture would you think would be most dangerous? Um, probably the half a cat. <laughs> <laughs> there was one that was half uh, a cat, wasn't there? Yeah, and if I remember correctly, it was just half a cat wandering <laughs> around doing cat things. I love those ones. <laughs> Where it's just like, we don't have an explanation for this, it's not dangerous, it's just weird. <laughs> it just we is. It. We can't explain it, so we're going to keep it as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Aw, I want my own little Cthulhu. <laughs> so, who, who would like to go first? Oops. When did I do that? Whoops. Uh, I can go first. You can go first? Yeah. Oh, my computer just went weird. Um, okay. Uh, well, according to the little diagram I have, uh, <laughs> I transferred all my information. My, my my rotor, yes. Um, would you like a prompt? Of, well, I, yeah. Would you like a prompt from me or Christy? And then we can work it out how we go. Uh, who has a prompt ready? <laughs> well, I have one ready. Christy, do you have one ready? Yes, I do have you one do? ready. Okay. But um, I'm thinking I'm using some of the time of the stream to find some better ones. So. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> okay, well, you can you can have one of mine. Um, right. Do you want, uh, tell you what, let's, let's keep this random. I have three. Uh, would you like the big number, the small number, or the middle number? Um, small number. Small number. Okay, cool. Um, you have, uh, SCP-4102. They were quite big numbers. Um. Okay. SCP-4102 is more commonly known as the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> You might be more interested in drawing SCP-4102-2. Um, SCP-4102-2 appears to be a human of indeterminate gender, roughly two meters in height. Um, SCP-4102-2's skin is covered in five square centimeter pieces of chipped bricks, each with different names and dates etched onto them. Um, the names and dates roughly correspond to a certain percentage of missing persons between 1800 and something and 2000 and something. Um, they seem pleasant enough. They can speak any voice, but they default to a New York accent. Um, <laughs> if you try and take them out from underneath the bridge, they vanish and reappear in it. Um, yeah. They live underneath the bridge. Yeah, kind of in the vaults, in yeah. the bases of the bridge they're itself. Like Highness. Like they're like the bridge trolls. trolls. <laughs> kind of. They seem pleasant, though. Um, they also do. They also enjoy playing bridge. <laughs> uh, as yet unconfirmed. That is an experiment still to be done. Um, yeah, and they they refer to themselves uh, in the plural. Um, Good for them. Yeah, they they, they seem nice. Um, loving the Stoic law. Uh, is, is this Stoic? It might be Stoic. I can't really. <laughs> Um, so this is connected to, uh, obviously SCP-4102 is the bridge, uh, SCP-4102-2 is the entity beneath the bridge. SCP-4102-1, um, varies in appearance and can basically look like anyone, can speak any language, and appears between 8am and 10pm on the bridge while people are walking across it, and specifically targets people who are not from the area, and tries to convince them to buy the bridge. <laughs> uh, so, so, so we have a bridge. Business, man. <laughs> so we have a bridge. We have uh, essentially a vacuum salesman. <laughs> yes. Bridge. Yeah. Um. And and a bridge troll made out of bricks. Yeah. I guess. Um. So the longer you speak to this person, the more likely you are to actually be drawn in by this. Uh, there's some sort of anomalous, wibbly-wobbly stuff going on, as is the case usually with SCPs. Um, and and if also, you... when it comes to door-to-door -door salesmen. Yeah. 
Do they, they have... sell you the bridge, though? Um, you can. If, if you agree to the terms, you will agree to meet them later on in the day. Um, at which point you meet up, you'll have a lovely chat. Um, they will then uh, lead you off uh, to walk under the bridge, at which point you will disappear. Um, presumably, <laughs> your name and the date of your disappearance will then appear as a, a little brick on SCP-4102-2. Um, yeah. Also, the bridge has feelings. Um, yeah. <laughs> The bridge is apparently embarrassed to have a lot of attention on it. <laughs> SCP is a weird That's world. <laughs> funny. That's just really funny. Yeah, Especially but... since it's such a large bridge. Yeah, a large, a... well-known bridge. And it's like, stop staring at me. And it's like, it's a little hard. You take a path the skyline. <laughs> also, you keep talking to me? It's <laughs> like... Bridge is kind of it's it's unclear. There was an interview with a uh, brick friend, Bridge Troll, um, who says that they were asking when did this whole thing begin, um, and it says, "Am I going to have to attempt a New York New York accent? I'm not sure. I don't think this is going to work." Um, New York. That's kind of New York, right? It got it I... got an idea from some place. No one trusted this thing to last, you know. Barnum had to parade elephants on it to prove a point. It got self-conscious, maybe. All the attention definitely didn't help. Then some guys came pretending to pawn it off. We get an inkling from someplace, deep in the walls, living in the city, you know? Makes you gotta prove yourself. It collects the toll, so it has something solid to have. It was the first of its kind, rolling babied it. It felt like it was cared for, a real personal connection you can't get anywhere else. It's doing its best, but sometimes it wants to crumble. And that's all we know about it. <laughs> yeah, sure. That was Brickman. And my most successful attempt at doing a New York accent, which goes to show how bad the other ones were. Um, I mean, at I least to decide what, what a salesman looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, apparently they, they can take any form, any gender, any ethnicity, depending on who they're going to target. So yeah, but still. <laughs> um, the, okay, I have a description. Where are we? Uh, for one version. SCP-41021 in this instance presented itself as a blonde middle-aged Caucasian male of medium build standing at approximately 1.8 meters dressed in a suit and tie. I mean, I was going to give him a suit, so... Yeah, it was a, if it was a vacuum salesman, he's going to have a suit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you ship them. <laughs> Brickman and bridge. So yeah, I think, I think the implication here is it's the bridge that's stealing people because it kind of, it wants some sort of personal attention rather than just being seen as a bridge. <laughs> sure. Wow. Um, also, cool. forgot to mention, Brick Friend um, has a, a human skeleton, but their internal organs are made of cement. Cool. I don't know how to depict that. <laughs> you don't. It's inside. It's fine. <laughs> He has a suitcase. Well, where like, else are they going to carry the deeds? Open suitcase, like, hey kid, you want to buy a bridge? <laughs> 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 not, not usually what gets sold by strange people selling things on bridges. <laughs> Wouldn't buy a bridge. So yeah, this this um this article does have a, a bit of a smell of I bet you can't make blank into an SCP. And blank in this case was a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and someone went challenge accepted. Yeah. I mean this this is I mean, SCP it's... 4102. Like they they've had a lot oh. of ideas at this point. It was a cool SCP and until it went, went on weep. <laughs> It's, it's ooh. The SCP article it's, smells. Is the article an SCP? Maybe. I mean, it's it's Euclid. Is the class is Euclid? So it's like Euclid. It's the best. It's the best I can do. Um, <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm trying here. As someone who's not American, that accent's pretty good. <laughs> Ragdoll is somebody who is American. 
<laughs> yeah, and with family from New York. Um, <laughs> it sort of depends on where in New York you're coming from. N- n- luckily for me, New York is a bit of a cultural melting pot, so <laughs> there could be a variety of different types of accents. So it's it's sort of funny when most people who aren't from New York, uh, including people in America, think of New York, usually they're thinking of like Manhattan or Long Island. Um Turns out that's just one relatively small area. Most of New York is covered in a forest. Cool. So that's fun. Covered in a what? Forest. Trees. Oh. Trees. Oh, oh that's definitely SCPs. I heard florist. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, New York is one big florist. <laughs> hey, kid, I mean, you want to buy some flowers? But yeah, my mother grew up in New York. Uh, does not have a New York accent. Grandpa still did. And it mostly came out... Mostly had to deal with like random phrases he said. And also his driving habits because he was a... <laughs> He did delivery in New York, uh, and then oh. they moved to Colorado, and his driving <laughs> habits did not change, despite the fact that he was now on top of a mountain. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> I'm sure people just love Get out of the there. <laughs> Get out of the way, Boulder. <laughs> Drawing a shady dealer? Skinny leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to refresh. Oh, apparently. Oh, yeah. Um, following good behaviour, SCP-4102-2 has been allowed one bed, one television with access to news and television shows, and a collection of assorted fiction books and writing pads with pens. So, um, this is when they're captured. So, did they bring the bridge? No, no, no. The, <laughs> the, bridge, is, the bridge is under constant surveillance. There are a couple of agents pretending to be policemen on either side. Um, they, they tend to have like on-site containment a lot of the time if it's difficult to take a bridge to a warehouse, you know. <laughs> yeah, sounds like Quitter talk to me. <laughs> they live in New York. They don't give a damn about good behavior for treats. I think. That... I mean, I'm sure they have a TARDIS room, so you know. Uh, uh, yes, actually, uh, one of the early ones is like a set of keys, and if you use those keys on particular doors, they take you to just the void that you can just it's big you can just put stuff in it use it as a warehouse it's great um <laughs> i have i've read over 600 of these <laughs> oh no <laughs> poor brain <laughs> a room of requirement if you will mm. kind of a drawing <laughs> it's a drawing good I don't have an awful lot to to do. (laughs) I I can show you, like I said, in terms of images, not an awful lot going on here. Um, I can show you an image of 4102, naturally. Um, Okay. Wait, that's just a bridge, right? It's just the bridge, yeah. Uh, (laughs) But I can show you. (laughs) I I can show you (laughs) that bridge. That was... I mean, some of these things are just going to be like that's just that's just a blank because <laughs> a lot of them they just kind of like let's yeah, take a random a picture, <laughs> some of which are place. like creepy pictures, and let's make up a story where this picture is sort of the basis behind. How can I take this picture and make up a weird horror story or not weird horror story, just a weird story? So, like Chris said, some of them are like okay, let's make an SCP out of a bridge. Challenge accepted. <laughs> and here is the vault beneath in which uh, Dash 2 oh. lives oh, he is oh I think I think I didn't understand what you meant by <laughs> vault on the red bridge <laughs> that's fair that's fair I mean this this looks like a place you would go down to sample some fine wine after a party yeah. with your friends and, and then yeah. get bricked in <laughs> Yes. <laughs> There's some Amontillado down here. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, okay. 
that makes more sense as a living space, I guess, than just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because people could just see, couldn't they? <laughs> just walking along the yeah. banks. <laughs> yeah, I saw it as the chief's version as well. <laughs> that might... That's fair if you're asking how they're going to contain this thing, if they're literally just exposed to outside. <laughs> <laughs> the bridge is sentient, wouldn't that be its tummy? Uh, maybe. I mean, also just, like, why wouldn't... I mean... People live on the bridges. It's just that this guy is some kind of skeevy weird guy that sells bridges. <laughs> Not usually under these bridges. So I don't know if you noticed from the picture, but a lot of the Brooklyn Bridge is over the water. Mm. So yeah. to. Like He's the, a the, the parts the, the main part you see there with the suspension there, that's just they just built a thing in the water and then just stuck the bridge on top of it. So yeah. it's like, yeah, I guess you could live under there, but you're going to be swimming to work. And you uh, probably don't <laughs> that want That is to. his work. His work is living under a bridge. Also, if he's trying to sell it, is he trying to sell his own house? <laughs> I mean, most people, if, if they're selling a house, it's probably their house. Or they're asking someone to sell their house. So True, yeah. He but he's, he's doing, doing it. He, <laughs> he's trying to he's trying to sell his house to people walking on his house. It's a bit weird. He's a mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine this is a, this person coming up to you, but hey, you want to buy my house? And then you <laughs> continue asking, and then it turns out to be a bridge. <laughs> uh, very funny. <laughs> well, there you go. There's, there's the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> funnily, <laughs> funnily enough, this was not the one that I said that I, I immediately liked the image of this because it's a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the SCP Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, or one hundred two. It's Euclid, apparently. I guess it can just randomly kidnap people, so probably. Um, yeah, that's that. I, I, I like. Well, I, I don't like the salesman. I, I want to get away from him. But that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is the goal. I also like how there appears to be a waterfall here. This is... <laughs> Listen, this is the end. <laughs> I never claim to be good at drawing rivers or water of any kind. <laughs> oh, no, this is inside one of the vaults. It just, just so happens that the river goes underneath... <laughs> like, in, into the room and then out again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. The Brooklyn yeah, Bridge. You just Clean have some like brick walls here. Just so the fun Brooklyn. thing is, especially since this is in New York. Um, so New York is old. Okay. Well, I mean, not as old as some of the places you guys are living, but um, as far as the United States is concerned, it's pretty old. Um, and regardless of how scary they can make up stories about things that live in Brooklyn. The stories about how the New York City's sewage system got built are probably scarier, if only because they're real. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. There's a reason that there's a lot of places on the East Coast where it's like, yeah, no, this shit's haunted. It was made by crocodiles, wasn't it? That's, that's the story. <laughs> Ooh, that's an SCP, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just an urban legend. There was a big crocodile in the sewers or something. Full of, full of ninja well, I don't know about crocodiles, but there's there's definitely people's bones. <laughs> I'm glad oh. we're I'm glad we're making the, the waterfall or the the inlet theory canonical. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the Central Park is like uh, kind <laughs> of like that too, right? Oh, it has this little part, so it can be a location in chicory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was gonna say. We're <laughs> You can go in there, you can find some litter. Um, <laughs> and this guy, for some reason. And this guy. The only human in the game is even human, but you know. Run about a bridge. Appears like a human. I mean, with the way you've drawn on his nose and the fact that everyone else in Chicory is just animals, it's like, is, is this the villager? <laughs> is this animal crossing and the villager just kind of went sour? <laughs> This is a sleazy villager. I mean, usually they try and buy a bridge, don't they? Rather than... 
right. This is what happens when the fiddle gets closed up. <laughs> this is what happens when it it's no longer a village. It it turns into a city. <laughs> yeah, we have we have usurped Tamna. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> oh, I want, I want to draw New York versions of Animal Crossing characters now. Anyway, <laughs> another project. Oh, <laughs> Too many projects. Right, moving on. Um, Jibby, do you would you like to give a prompt to Christy? Ooh. Okay. Okay. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh. Ah, uh, again. Uh, your prompt is a line. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure all of our prompts will include some lines. Yeah. Uh, this one doesn't have a picture, so you're free <laughs> to just invent a Hi. picture for this one. Hi. What you draw is now canon. <laughs> <laughs> Can we upload it to the site? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, pressure again. Um. <laughs> Your SCP is SCP-2694. Um, SCP-2694 is an animated mass of objects currently in the shape of a basset hound. <laughs> the body is primarily oh. composed of parts of stuffed animals, chew toys, and children's toys. Oh. SCP-2694 has shown that it can rearrange its composition to take the form of other animals depending on how many toys it has been given. It's the dog. Oh. <laughs> so, it yeah, it doesn't have a lot of toys. It's a chihuahua. Toy dog. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, probably. <clears throat> Sweet horror plushie. There are a surprising number of good dogs in SCP. <laughs> I, I, I feel like this is Toy Story gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> This is what happens to the dog's toys. They get mutilated and just become an amalgam. Has anyone ever thought um, about what happens to dog toys in the world of Toy Story? That's unpleasant. Uh, <laughs> well, I we, we know from what Sid does that you can just sort of stick bits of toys together and they're now also toys. Mm. So yeah, this is <gasps> this is just some weird toy homunculus. Uh, to answer your question, Miss, I think you can pet the dog, because he is classified as safe. Oh, good. <clears throat> a plush is a toy, right? Huh? A plush is a toy, right? Yes, yeah. a stuffed, stuffed toy thing. So yeah, plushie just... is a type of stuffed animal. Usually plushies are more rounded, uh, less things sticking out. So all plushies are stuffed animals, but not all stuffed animals are plushies. Ooh. I just found the perfect reference photo. <laughs> stuffed toy, I think. I'd have to get me some plushies. That's... I've made one. <laughs> made a Tonbury. Always wanted to make more. Never got around to it. Also you also to... made Claudio. I did, yes. <clears throat> I guess I guess he counts as a plushie, does he? He's made of Hessian, yeah, which is a bit <laughs> strange. But <laughs> Probably he does. <laughs> He's stuffed, so... <laughs> you he counts as a So yeah, I, I have just realised that the idea yes. of, you know, draw, draw a dog, but also make it m be made up of hundreds of smaller objects is like... <laughs> it, it's an adorable concept, but I can see why they don't have a picture of it. Because... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can make, they can make that quite easily, I imagine. Apparently, aggressively... Themed toys such as plastic weapons will result in more aggressive behavior. Oh. You are what you eat? Yeah, kind of. Claudio is mean, a plushie. Oh. More like you are what you latch onto your body once yeah. it's brought within 10 centimeters of you. <laughs> you are what you were constructed of. It's, it's a less catchy <laughs> phrase, but. 
more accurate. Um, yes, because Miss has just given me a fantastic idea, which is to use the Claudio doll as a pincushion. <laughs> I mean, Would considering what he's based off of. Yeah, works. <laughs> I haven't been, no, I little... haven't done any sewing, really. I need to a couple of shirts need sewing, but... Ah! We're talking about dogs. <laughs> Persimmons? That's a fruit, not a vegetable. <laughs> oh, what would a nose be? It's a call button. It's a phone. <laughs> Anyone remember those? Remember what? A phone with a phone call button. Oh, right. Buttons on a phone? Are you mad? <laughs> Isn't this what they looked like? Something like. Yeah. No, the, the ph phones need to be entirely touch and speech activated. <laughs> It's the future, don't you know? The future, the yes. The future. Definitely. Nobody has ever heard of the word Nokia. It's, it's a distant memory. What is that? <laughs> Archaeologists are still unsure. <laughs> See, the whole phone thing is always just sort of funny to me, because we use the same word for what's essentially a small computer in your pocket. <laughs> for the thing that you would like crank eventually get a hold of an operator and then the operator would mm. move some wires around and connect your stuff and uh that second version there are people still alive where that was what they used like that's yeah yeah my, when my grandmother was young she the, the phones were all operator phones and now phones are small computers in your pockets and we still call them phones. And if you took my phone back and showed it to her when she was a young girl, she would be like, what the heck is this? <laughs> she would be like, are you yeah. an alien? What? <laughs> I was a young girl. <laughs> my father showed me a mobile phone. <laughs> and I asked, are you an alien? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the follow-up album didn't... What well, didn't you know click with as many people? <laughs> can I make this the only thing I can think of without making it bad? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's it's mangled and weird. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You can get away with a lot of things. Yeah, a vehicle is mangled and weird. <laughs> because they're using touchscreens, not buttons. Get it clicked. Didn't click with no. <laughs> Unfortunately, it also didn't speak to them. Certainly didn't touch them. No. Jokes. This is a very good dog. Yeah, look at I, this dog. <laughs> I, I don't care if it's a weird homunculus pile of just toys shoved together into the general shape of a dog. It's still a good dog. You can it, pet it. Dog. <laughs> it will squeak, but you can pet it. <laughs> well, that would be weird if it has like a little like voice box from a toy into it. Like, <laughs> get latched onto that. It has the animal sounds one and you see you pet it and it goes <laughs> better just like has the alphabet or something or numbers <laughs> one of those very small children's toys one actually if, if it gets if it gets more aggressive if you give it aggressive toys will it get smarter if you give it educational ones I mean <laughs> Hazel's that voice that would be logical right <laughs> Oh no! 
So we're saying it absorbs someone's stream labs. Yes. You got a stream deck. That's like a toy, right? <laughs> there we go. Bork, we had the bork. same thought. <laughs> bork, bork. Woof, woof. Woof? <laughs> woof? <laughs> Woof. Woof. <laughs> I love this mental image of one of the scientists at SSC Foundation looking at this dog that just Ugly. spoke in Hazel's voice. <laughs> just, no, that is not how dogs bark. A woof. Supposed to be woof. <laughs> woof. So the pro problem is, right, is that I'm I'm perfectly happy to tell Hazel that she has no idea how to pronounce words. I'm not going to tell the dog off. <laughs> I'm not going to make it upset. It's trying its best. I deserve, be I expect better from Hazel, but the dog is a dog. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> and the dog is adorable. <clears throat> it's a good dog. They're all good dogs, Brent. But it's always <laughs> odd with their ears up. I mean, true. But at the same time, this one is an amalgam of inanimate objects, so it's going to look weird anyway. <laughs> Pretty sure this is wrong. What does the megaphone look like? <laughs> uh, cone usually, or, or like a concave cone. How big is this dog? Uh, depends how many toys are in it. Yeah, it does can this... be tiny or it can be <clears throat> big. Does this imply you can take toys out? I think so. So if you take the toys out, do they become just toys again, or can you use them to make more dogs? Yeah, I was thinking what happens if you cut it in half? You get two dogs. Don't cut the dog in half. It's made of toys, it can rearrange itself. Yeah, it's like a starfish. Cut it directly in half, and then you've got uh, two, two mm -hmm. new starfish. Uh, I'm not sure if you can cut it in half. Why you'd want to is not a question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it says here that um, the toys just like fall off once they <clears throat> they are worn down to a certain level, and they will just detach. Oh, I see. So they have to and be then, functioning toys. Yeah, and then the doggo will like <laughs> cut me in half. Just I dare pull you. them away, and we'll seek woof, other woof. toys to replace them with. <laughs> okay, so clearly there's some sort of like central dog entity and these are all the sort of things it uses mm. to make its own body. Sorry, I was trying to pay attention, Jibby, but Hazel was... I dare you. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Woof, Because honestly, I think it would be fun to have the big wolf and then two subwoofers. Alright! Look at that. Subwoofers. Mention some toys for me. My head is blank. Jack in the box. <laughs> I don't know why that was the first thing that came to my head. It's not a, do it's not a dog toy, that's for sure. Um, hmm, just a squeaky... Spirals. Squeaky bone. Uh, one of those rubber chickens. Ooh. That's what I can do with this. A uh, bit, bit of rope that's like tied into a knot on both ends, and then you play tug of war with the dog. It's great. My grandma's dog has a toy that's essentially just a really long, colorful caterpillar. <laughs> Christy's dog wants it as well. Oh, can you hear him? <laughs> just occasionally, it, it adds to the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Because I got oh. laid home and immediately sat down to draw, he's not happy. Aww. <laughs> that is 
sorry. I ju I'm just reading through it, and there are some like uh toys that they like introduced to the SCP and like how it reacted to it. <laughs> I was not prepared to read introduction of one dog tail butt plug. <laughs> Uh, I wasn't ready to hear it. <laughs> I... I guess it's a toy? <laughs> I guess toys Somebody's have to have toy. no real practical purpose. They're just for pleasure, I guess? Like, what's the definition okay. of toy? Like... <laughs> then it says, SCP-2694 did not use the object for sexual purposes, but did integrate the piece into it still. It has not yet been recovered. <laughs> I mean, so long as you just focus on the tail bit, you're fine, right? <laughs> 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 this is not enjoying this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss. I, I have mean, to share with the class. There's, I I've seen plenty of costume bits where it's like we have a detachable tail bit, but usually it like detects like a Velcro thing or like a hoop. So it's it's pretty <laughs> common at like Ren fairs or medieval fairs to have someone walking around and they're like dressed up like D and D, whatever you know, similar similar type of clothing, whatever. It's fine, it's fun, and so you have some people and they've got like. A faux foxtail attached to their belt on the back. So, you know. <clears throat> Although it does beg the question of what was the tail made of before it was given a tail? Because it said it incorporated it into its tail. So there was tail there previously. And yeah. It just added more tail. Is it a caterpillar? Who knows? Okay, this one is much cuter. Introduction of one laser pointer. It SCP-2694 forced the pointer on into its nose and chased the laser. <laughs> <laughs> they then chased it for 18 hours before detaching the laser from itself. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> And I yes, miss, I, I do. I, any other toys. I I do actually mean attached to the belts. They they sell faux foxtails and whatnot at some of the booths, and you can see they've got these loops and hooks and bits and things, so you can just like loop it onto a belt. Look at this. Oh, I just dog. <laughs> I I just noticed where you put the face of the rubber chicken. And <laughs> It's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> also, considering that's right by its face, I'm imagining any time it opens its mouth, <laughs> it makes that weird squeaky noise. <laughs> well, I can't think of any more toys, so here we go, I guess. This is a good dog. <laughs> Yay. Oh, wonderful. Yes, it screams like a rubber chicken. <laughs> oh, right, it didn't have a picture. I was waiting for a picture. <laughs> Just yeah, there is, this is the picture. You have drawn the picture. Well, now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> no, it's good. I like him so much. <laughs> That's did a good me in a weird spot on the canvas, huh? Well, we always do. That's I mean, it every... just means it's more likely to show up when we yeah. stick everything on the canvas. True, yes. I this... put my guy completely on the left, <laughs> just <laughs> for we, no particular you... reason. We're going to draw mainly on the left today. <clears throat> <laughs> it's going to be a left mess today instead of a center mess. <laughs> you know you're drawing the right corner. 
Um, I, 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 I mean, I, I did these. <laughs> so they'll just be looking at everything we've drawn. <laughs> so our friends. How come it's so hard to think of toys when you have to think of toys? Uh, I don't know. You know that you've asked us to think of a reason. It's hard yeah. for us to think of a reason. There's a there's yeah. a game there's yeah. a card game called Anomia which runs on that purpose, which is essentially like Snap, but you have to very suddenly say an example of a thing, and it just says like breed of dog, like really simple. But in the moment you're like um um uh, uh, uh Pluto. No. <laughs> Better than that one. <laughs> <clears throat> like cool, cool. the opposite principle of when someone tells you not to think of something. Yeah. Like, don't think of cats when suddenly all <clears throat> you can think is cats. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. Marvelous. Love, love, love the friend. They're good. And canonical, as we have discussed. <laughs> yes. Um, cool. Well. Christy, do you want to give a prompt to Ragdoll? Yeah. Hopefully Ragdoll does not become part of the dog. I mean, I'm also not a toy within however many centimetres of its body, so... Ten yeah. centimetres. <laughs> keep, keep your distance. At least um, 11 centimetres distance. <laughs> I have... Uh, SCP-066. Uh, or Eric's toy is an <gasps> SCP that <laughs> appears in uh, SCP containment violation blah, 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 blah. Um, is an intricately braided amorphous mass of yarn that weighs approximately one kilo. Trapped between the threads are what appears to be eyes which resemble those of a human. I already drew this one. <laughs> <laughs> I drew this so, one at the so, start. <laughs> so basically, this is someone's yarn oh, stash gone one. way out of control. Ew. Right. I didn't know that one was noon because I got it like in the hundredth button. Press. It's cute, unless, uh, uh, well, read on. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a backup up. No, no, no. It's, this, this is a good prompt. Is you, I mean, an amorphous mass, mass of yarn with eyes. There's lots of different ways you could draw that. Yeah. Um, it, and its its main feature is not visual, I would say. It's, it's I haven't read the far. <laughs> the yarn stash gone out of control. Um, yeah, you you do uh, uh, textile crafts, don't you? So. Yeah, I do. Grandma does. <laughs> other grandma does. Uh, my main aunt that does textile crafts mostly does um, quilting, but it's a similar pro problem of, oh, you open the closet and there is no room. It's just stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's the ever-growing yarn stash. And actually... I'll oh, I'm, I, I, you say that, I imagine it's a, a, a yarn, a moustache made of yarn. <laughs> the yarn I mean, stash. it might... It, it might it might have a mustache. Yeah, we'll give it a mustache. Split your trousers and have to sew them up. Crochet beards and mustaches. I mean, you you caused a thing to be different as a consequence of uh, using textile materials. Aww. That sounds crafty. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, <laughs> what a friend. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of yarn balls stuck together. <clears throat> yeah, good, good job landing on one that's that's well known. Maybe maybe Drawfy did do it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one though. I do like this one. I love his little mustache. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing it as a mouth. orange stuff up here. The thread from the toys that made up the dog. I mean, so so far we are three for three on something made of other things. <laughs> we had someone made of bricks, a dog made of toys, and yarn friend. 
Eric's yarn friend. Was it Eric? I think it was Eric. Yeah. yeah. Eric's yarn. Buddy. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Eric? Eric um I haven't read the article in a while, but as I recall, Eric is the name of a child um who presumably had this toy or made this toy, not entirely sure of the sort made of origins of yarn. it. <clears throat> but it's it's kind of constantly asking to find out where Eric is. Um because it, it presumably wants to know where its friend is. Um oh. and as soon as it was made apparent to this thing that Eric isn't around, it suddenly just starts making really loud noises. Like, I, I seem to remember one of the examples that it was given was that it plays Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, yep. symphony at like 150 <laughs> decibels. It's like... Yeah. Just strange. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor, poor thing. Poor little thing. Poor little thing. I was seeing it as a more of a threatening thing because in this um, probably rewritten article, it says it uh, will say the name Eric constantly with a deep masculine voice. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Eric. See how that's more threatening? Eric. Where's my friend? See, I still find that kind of cute, but also I'm <laughs> one of there. There's so it did, it doesn't come up often, but um, one of the things that's sort of present in uh, the Devil May Cry series is that Dante's sword actually screams. <laughs> Does it? Oh, yes. It it doesn't do it often, but like <laughs> there's been down. like. Two or three different occasions where it's like shenanigans are happening and the sword just screams. I have like, motion oh, sickness. Lovely. Screaming devil sword, just what we needed. <laughs> and devil may cry a sword might get yeah. actual motion sickness. The sword yeah. may cry. Being swung around like that. Poor thing. Also, hey, um, color. We've got. <laughs> It has it. Well, I mean, if if you're gonna make it a giant yarn stash, I I have yet to see a yarn stash that's a single color. So good, good point. Yes. See, you, you, this is drawn from experience. Yes. I won't say anything about the colors of my own yarn stash. On hey, Kira. Of the fact that, um, Hi, yeah. Kira. <clears throat> this is Eric's awesome. friend. Of he speaks in a deep, masculine voice. <laughs> mm. Eric. <laughs> oh, that's so funny and so terrifying. Frame man, what are you doing? Yeah, I kind of like this because I got to draw just like a little scribble friend. Yeah. Frame yeah, man I know wants it to be this. Got like human eyes, but we'll just we'll just pretend. There was two eyes. <clears throat> and yeah, as I, as I, I suck some knitting needles into it. As, as I recall, the angrier it gets, the more eyes it has. Oh, lovely! <laughs> but it's great for the game, like the, when they did Containment Breach, because like it's it's basically this tense sort of horror game, and then all of a sudden this little ball comes up to you, going Eric, presumably, <laughs> and then if you get too close, it just blasts loud music at you. Um, yeah, Frame Man visited for a bit. Sorry about that. Um, he wants to be an SCP, real bad. I mean, but isn't it? He's, he's, he probably he's, qualifies he's, as an SCP at this point. Not, as da not dangerous enough. I mean, <laughs> not all of them are dangerous. I, I was gonna say, we just had a dog. Yeah, we just had a dog. <laughs> <laughs> just had a dog made of toys. It's, yeah, fair enough. Um, so an S threatening dog. <laughs> And like I said, as, as far as I remember, unless stuff has been added to it, the half cat is literally just half a cat. Yeah. They're just kind of like, we, it, I mean, it seems to be doing fine. We have no idea how it's floating. We have no idea where its other half is. <laughs> uh, <duh. laughs> it's just half a cat. It's just half a cat. 
Yeah, we, we, we inexplicably got a, a well-known one, which was nice. This is actually one I subbed in for a more boring one. That's fair. This is a good one. I was one. like, finally, something interesting. And as I say, I've, I've read 600 of these, and I remembered this one, so it must be good. Yeah, there's a reason why some of them sort of stick around and get, are, are known outside of the fandom, as you will. Yeah. <clears throat> the and picture is uh, quite unimpressive. <laughs> Less impressive than a bridge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that um, would be a tiny. Guy. Is that a picture? Can I? Can... It looks like just a smudge. <laughs> is this what is that? Like, is is this like some sort of sort of polygonal Rorschach test? Am I supposed to see something <laughs> in it? Like, I'm pretty sure I could make a more impressive yarn ball chunk. With I mean, just you the just yarn did. Balls I have around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there was a better picture than that on there. It doesn't say as much as you've said either. It's quite a short description. Oh, I wonder if it's changed. So, uh... Oh, I... wait. Where are you? Some of, some <laughs> of the pages. Oh, hang on. Oh, you're on fandom. Reach.fandom. Oh, you're, oh, on, you're a on the site. That's probably that why you. That might be why your random generator thing was reacting differently from ours. And why you got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go go I to. Both the old and the new one. Hang on, if you here, uh, go to thus. Um, yeah, but some of the pages do look different. But that is that is a different. But hey, you got a good one. I I, I like this SCP, and we got a good drawing of it. Um. Now let's just see if the <clears throat> um, let's get the picture from the thing. Uh, if I recall, oh, that's just a yarn. Oh no, they don't have the picture. I'm, I'm sure. I, I'm sure. I remember seeing a picture. Um. Yeah, when it's not producing anomalous effects, SCP-66 will say the name Eric constantly in a deep masculine voice. Um, yeah, it's just a picture of some yarn on the thing. I, I swear I saw a good picture of this. Maybe someone just made one. Probably. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> um. Oh, right, here we go. Here's a, here's a pic. Um. Da -da 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 -da. The pic I have is. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Cute. And this is the. That looks like a ball of yarn on the website. Yeah, yeah. it's it literally. I mean, it's multicolored. You got that. That's apparently the picture of the SCP prior to Incident Zero Six Six Two. So pre eyes. Pre yes. pre angry pre eyes. <laughs> Prius. Pre Prius. <laughs> Toyota pre pre eyes. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ragdoll, have you got something for me? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to drawing a uh, non-corporeal entity. Um. Well, let's go more for the horror route. Ooh. So, Chris... Uh, you get SCP-3660, mm -hmm. uh, which is a black zipper, similar to those found on sweaters and backpacks. <laughs> you guys call them zippers, I think. Yeah. Uh, the item is in poor condition, and a significant amount of its paint has been ground off. Um, oh, I, don't, I don't like the, where this is going. <laughs> so, a um, it's a non... It's inert until it is pressed against the skin of a... Mm -hmm. Human being. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the event of this limitation, SDC 3660 will sink into the flesh until only the full no. pad is visible. <laughs> um, and basically, within 10 minutes, the SCP will activate and unzip the host skin. Oh, God, no. Why have that in my mind? <laughs> 
I mean, there's worse, th <laughs> worse things on the website. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is up there. Um. Okay. How you want do me to I... give you a different? You want me to give you a different one? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm, honestly, I'm just struggling to think of a funny way of drawing it. To be honest, <laughs> but <laughs> draw a person with a hooded zipper. Zipper hoodie. No. no oh. A hooded zipper. That's something. Can I? Can, is it? What's it attached to? Is it attached to a jacket? Um, looks like it's just in the skin. Oh, okay, actually, yeah, cool. let's go with a different one. Because, <clears throat> yeah, that one's just kind of like, oh, no. <laughs> it could be an earring. It's it's not the worst. I mean, I was thinking on the flies or something. Um, like I say, it's not the worst SCP I've heard. <laughs> but it's pretty unpleasant. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty cool one. We, def we definitely started with the nice ones, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, mine was about kidnapping, but... <laughs> okay. It was also a see. bridge. <clears throat> <laughs> so let's, let's, let's do a less uh, horrifying one. Is this our well, first duo? So far, it's our <laughs> first mulligan. So we've got uh, item 5244. Four. Uh, SBC 5254 is a 32-year-old human male, previously known as Benjamin Matthews. Okay. <clears throat> um, now, but the things that make it weird are the events that occur seemingly at random. Um, SBC 52441 events are always preceded by an unidentified voice audible only to SBC 5224, often requesting some sort of gift, usually in the form of luck or guidance. Less frequently, the message will thank SBC 5244 for answering one of the previous requests. To date, the SBC has been unable to fill any of these requests. Shortly after the message is received, a small burst of flame will appear in the immediate, uh, immediate area surrounding the SBC, followed by an item. Some examples of items received have been compiled below. An orange fruit, similar to a, in appearance to a pineapple. Testing determined that the fruit contained a lethal dose of cap, capsaicin. <clears throat> a yeah. small, a plastic bag of hallucinogenic mushrooms. The severed head of an, an unidentified animal with bovine features and antlers, similar to those of a moose. A Big Mac burger from the restaurant <laughs> chain McDonald's. Uh, three Canadian geese. A full list Someone of items received is available sign. upon request. So yeah, this is apparently a gentleman uh, who I guess is being prayed to, question mark, <clears throat> and just every so often receives offerings via flame. Someone had a fun time coming up with that just... Whenever there's yeah, a list, it's usually a good time. <laughs> Also, what was his name again? Uh, Brandon the, his name is Benjamin Matthews, and he's designated SCP-5244. It's just because yeah, I wanted to say the artist formerly known as Benjamin Matthews. <laughs> uh, okay, we can work with that. Um... And so since Benjamin here is, you know, sentient person, uh, we actually have an, an interview here from his initial containment. <clears throat> and one of the lines in here is pretty funny, so. Interviewer, oh dear, are you all right? Yeah, just the voices again. Dear Ben, please accept my sacrifice and grant me your aid by smiting my ex-lawyer. My, sorry, my ex's lawyers. <laughs> it's funnier with ex lawyer. <laughs> Ooh, don't burn the ponytail. And apparently, oh, yeah, I, I imagine it's slightly singed. <laughs> apparently, he mostly just finds these things just sort of annoying, uh, especially when they happen at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just wakes up. <laughs> So it's just a dude who does not want to be, um, <laughs> it's Life of Brian. Yeah. 
Oh. <clears throat> uh, I guess it's got like a sort of jumpsuit thing on if he's in like containment of some description. I imagine he like he's yeah. not dangerous in and of himself. It's just the stuff that keeps appearing by him and on fire that's the problem. <laughs> Yeah, apparently he's not really in containment at the moment. Uh, he's in custody of GOI-667. Uh, priority of recovery is minimal. And basically it's like, if you have any more questions, please please see Dr. Watts. <laughs> Whoever came up with the put the things on fire. <laughs> hey, you have burnt offerings. It's just that I'm sure... The gods don't really want the actual fiery item to be appearing in their living room <laughs> at three in the morning. <laughs> there, there's a a song by Sparks um, about basically God being annoyed at constantly being pestered for things, <laughs> um, and it's called "What the Hell Is It This Time?" And I imagine that's this guy's sort of anthem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe, maybe, hang on. Maybe this isn't like a jumpsuit. So like, pajamas. Or, hey, I get, I get to do my thing. <laughs> get to give him <laughs> slippers. Bunny, big bunny slippers. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they were a previous offering. Yeah. <laughs> Once they were classified safe and not full of lethal doses of some sort of strange metal. Uh, <laughs> maybe the bunny slippers are also an SCP. <laughs> I mean, they probably okay. have a classification if they came out of the offerings. <laughs> yeah, the events themselves, like I said, are designated with a dash one, so it wouldn't surprise me if each of the offerings has their own <clears throat> designation. I wonder it's if he gets the next day today. Is what day? Who? Thin legs. Oh, thin leg. Oh, yeah. I could have made a skip leg day joke, but... I mean, he isn't buff enough on top to make a skip leg day he, joke. He's, <laughs> he's SCP leg day. It's like... SCP is kind of like skip. Um... <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> That's SCP. This is like, you know, it sees like a cave. You take out the eye and it's fine. <laughs> uh -huh. Look. <laughs> I've explained the joke. Why don't you find it funny? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, that that is an SCP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if if your SCP ends in the letter J, that's a joke one. Yeah. Um, I got one of the joke ones, but I'm still going to use it. Because yeah. it's really funny. <laughs> so, to make this even better, uh, there's another interview further down. Uh, there's another entity that they're calling SCP-5244A, uh, who apparently is actually some sort of Eldrick's being vaguely humanoid, <laughs> green skin, small mouths in place of eyes, and has multiple feathered wings sprouting from various places of its torso. Uh, who apparently was actually the one who was supposed to be receiving these burnt <laughs> offerings again, and got annoyed and apparently was just forwarding them to this random mortal. Oh, right. <laughs> This poor so, guy. So, yeah, this poor guy. He wasn't even the one being prayed to. He was just... He was just Getting like return to sender, like hey, <laughs> uh, wrong address, send it here instead. And it's just kind of like, what the heck? New phone, who this? <laughs> <laughs> he got us in, but <laughs> oh, this is great. <clears throat> There's just some other burnt patches because this happens quite a lot. Uh, <laughs> he is not going to get his deposit back. Yeah, no, he couldn't explain this to the landlord.
Jiggly in the bathroom. Yeah, just imagine having a shower all of a sudden. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> well, I like that one. That one's, That's a good one. Good story. These are the SCPs I like. <laughs> it, it's and they're the ones that are really picture this uh, one. I guess so, yeah. Just some fire and a guy. Um But yeah, those are also the ones that I sort of like the best as well. The ones that are just sort of casually weird. Yeah. Where it's just kind of like I like with the cat. The cat where it's just kind of like oh, okay. <laughs> I, I guess the thing where it's just kind of like, why is he receiving bird offerings? I don't know. <laughs> there, there are basically three SCPs. There, there's the like sort of epic, amazing. You should really have turned this into a, you know, at least a short story, maybe a novel. Um, then there's the, this is horrible. How did you come up with it? I don't want to think about this again. And then stuff like this, which is <laughs> <laughs> good summarization. And I like the first and third of those. <laughs> oh, so you mean you didn't like the Zippo story? <laughs> mm. uh... I see a short story. Again, but... I'm not saying it's the worst one I've read. <laughs> <clears throat> um, cool. Well, this is Benjamin... Uh, whatever his name was. McGuffin. Um, Benjamin Matthews. Matthews. I'm surprised I got Benjamin, getting, to be honest. <laughs> who, who, is, who is getting forwarded messages from a god who just doesn't want to deal with people. I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. That's, like, that's Pratchett-esque. Um, fantastic. Marvellous. Right, well. We move on. <clears throat> to Chibi again. Oh, um, yeah. Only this time you get a prompt from Christy. Okie dokie. Give me a prompt. Dorky? We talked about this. Um. <clears throat> um I'll, Do I'll... I give you. Yeah. You get SCP 90... 939. <laughs> Numbers are hard in English. It's the um, first one. The first series. OG. Oh, also known as With Many Voices, is a something class SCP. I didn't know there were classes. Um, encountered in SCP containment breach. Are you still on the. Yeah. Hmm? You, you're still on the, the fandom wiki thing. Yeah, it's because the ones I already pulled up. Is it okay? Oh, no, yeah, that's fine. They're SCPs. <laughs> so... And they're random. Um, SCP-939 are endothermic pack-based predators which display atrophy of various systems <laughs> similar to similar organisms and whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, highly permeable to moisture and translucent red. Um, average of 2.2 meters tall, standing upright, uh, 250 kilos. Each of their four limbs end in three-fingered claws. A postable digit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sensitive pit organs. Um, uh, they are uh, sensitive to light, um, translucent red monster. Translucent red monster. Okay, I've okay. got up. I've got up the proper article, so there might be more information on here. Thank you. That's fine. Uh, Yep, yeah, that's all, all the stuff you said. Oh, their their heads are elongated, devoid of even vestigial eyes or eye sockets, and contain no brain casing. Brain that's casing? Brain casing? Brain casing. What is brain casing? I guess a like cranium a is what they're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
They don't. Okay, they don't have a skull. Or at least not a top of a skull. Yeah, not the top bit. They might have, you know, the bit for the nose and stuff. Okay, um, but I, I don't go like this. Oh, they have, like, <laughs> spined <laughs> dorsal ridges? <laughs> throwing <laughs> words at me. Okay, so, so it's, it's, it's a... So like a, four, a four-legged spiky creature without eyes or a skull. Um, it has spines going down its back, which are quite long. Uh, oh, okay. It's red, oh. translucent. Don't know how you're going to depict that. Um, it's it's fine. No it's, organs. It's fine. <laughs> this this is the weird thing about SCPs is that is that it it due to the it, it it's very effective at making something that you want to know more about, but by do, in doing so, it takes a while to get to the point. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <clears throat> well, like I said, with the with, with Ben's thing, which I just put a link to it in there because there's actually some fun interviews to read with it. <laughs> like I started reading the top, it's like, oh, it's just this random guy, and then I started scrolling to the bottom, and it's like, oh. There's there's a thing down here at the bottom about actually it's this thing that's causing the problem. Oh, I I know these things. Um, so they they can imitate human speech. Um, of the people they last killed. Oh, lovely. Um, they are Kita okay. class, which means they are very very dangerous. Cool. I still don't know what I'm drawing. <laughs> Class meant. Yes, there's okay. So the the classes for these they have classes depending on how serious their containment needs to be. So safe is stick it in a box, don't worry about it. Um, Euclid is stick it in a in a specific box and keep an eye on it. Um, Kita mm -hmm. is we absolutely must not take our eyes off this incredibly specifically constructed box. Um, otherwise things will die. Um. And Thor meal, if I remember correctly, is we don't need a box. This thing's nice. <laughs> what am I drawing? <laughs> uh, uh, they're pack-based predators, if that gives it. Um... I'm, I'm drawing whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just make it look intimidating and capable of... Copying voices somehow. It maybe it doesn't have a mouth. Maybe it has other ways of doing that. Who knows? <laughs> and translucent red. Yep. Yeah. Uh, they don't eat anything apparently. Oh, that's something. I don't know how. Like, I, I guess they just kill things and. <laughs> so they're pack hunters, but they don't actually need to eat the things. Fun. Uh, yeah, ba basically the idea of this, as far as I can tell... Sorry, I'm taking over your SCP, Christy. Um, <laughs> That's all right. Uh, the idea of this is, hey, they'll kill your friend and then lure you away with their voice. That's that's the starting point for this <laughs> for this SCP. Uh, it's seemingly, physical appearance took a back seat. <laughs> Not it's, supposed to be friendship. That's the friendship. problem. It, it sounds like your friend, so it must be your friend. <laughs> it has a froggy appearance, which I quite like. <laughs> Big frog. Big toothy frog. <clears throat> I like the idea of a big toothy frog. <laughs> Can't be honest. Big toothy frog. I mean, depending on the frog, it. Might have teeth anyway. Don't think too hard about it. You wait till Poison Nurse and Sixteen Symbols starts experimenting on their frog. Oh, no. <laughs> You're assuming they haven't already. True, okay. it was just a normal frog originally. It didn't have spikes. It does now. Some weirdy, just... Euclid frog. It didn't have eyes, right? No, no eyes. It does have, it has light-sensitive things on its spines. 
but I don't know how you're gonna do that. <laughs> and I don't think any of us are gonna particularly mind if you forget. <laughs> I love how you went it's from, hey, draw a part of a bridge to this. <laughs> it sure no is yet, something. <laughs> the claws don't make sense. Don't worry about it. Well, I mean, it's good. an SCP. It doesn't have to. Yeah. And it, apparently it's, it's covered in some substance that helps it climb, so that's kind of froggy. I'm beginning to think I should have just drawn a frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the teeth are faintly luminescent. Who's for them? <laughs> that must be very interesting going to the dentist then. They don't need a light. Yeah. <clears throat> Much more comfortable to sit in the dentist chair. Well, assuming they can sit in the dentist chair. I don't think this particular spine and leg setup would make that very easy. It's custom. Apparently they also breathe out a weird gas that makes you unable to form memories for a little while, so you get all confused. Mart. Tail? Small tail. <laughs> uh, no mention of tail, so you can do what you like. Tail. <laughs> Said <a> dinosaur. <laughs> The really weird dinosaur. <laughs> More it's a friend dinosaur. <laughs> no, it's not a friend dinosaur. It's it's Barney's cousin. He doesn't get invited to parties anymore. Uh, something spying. What do you mean I'm not invited to the party? I got a voicemail from you. We all know you can imitate voices, Kevin. <laughs> I hope there's a picture on the weekly you've got because uh, I nope. close mine I can't find it again nope it's this it is in the it, it, it is in the game so I assume there is an image from that from the game no <laughs> just this yeah like I said some of them it's just like there is no art for one reason or another, either because it's like there's no good way of making this, or it's like this is just a guy who just has flaming presence uh, here next to them. Um, I... And some of them, it's like, oh, it has an item, but it has a picture, but the picture is literally a zipper tab. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, there's, there's quite a lot of art of this. Um, and honestly, not far off what you've drawn. <laughs> really? Yeah. Stick figure for <laughs> <His> big friend. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No. Um, um. Okay. Uh, I guess I guess this is a good. Um. <laughs> apparently, this is by somebody called Crazy Cheese and Kovali Kovaliva. Uh, I don't know. Uh, crazy, crazy cheese. Crazy cheese. Um, I I'll wait till you finish to post it. Wouldn't want to influence the direction of this picture. <laughs> you can post it. I am pretty much <laughs> done. I'm just doing whatever this is. Oh. All of Yours the is depictions. more friend shaped, oddly enough. Because <clears throat> it's a friend. Look at it. <laughs> It was a really? close That's teeth. pretty close. Really? Mine is just a bit lumpier. This is friendship. <laughs> Has less upsetting teeth. Yes. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> the way I have them arranged on the screen it looks like they're in a chat. So <laughs> hey, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> Although I will point out that the picture you pulled up, Chris, is uh, not exactly translucent. No. Um, that is a good point. But, on the other hand, neither are any of the others. <laughs> Everyone seems to have forgotten that bit. I mean, I figure by translucent they mean like like with like cave fish or whatnot, where you can sort of see through the skin to their organs. Yeah. That's what I thought anyway. Which, which might be why they're so red, because you're literally seeing into their blood vessels and muscles and whatnot. Yeah, as, as far as I can ascertain, almost everybody... Oh, no, no, this person tried. Uh, I was going to say, everyone thought it was too much effort. Um... I tried. You can see the rib cage and stuff, and where the spines go in. Yeah. Still not yeah. as friend shaped as yours. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what to think of this dry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's no, it's no furry, but. Uh, that's true. I guess I should be happy about that. <laughs> I but was going to say that. I was going to say it's a disappointment. Um, <laughs> we've, we've managed to not draw a single furry yet. 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 Um, I can tell you now. Okay, furry might not be the right word. Um, but hey, stay tuned. <laughs> I like them. Draw because I've already drawn for you. True. Good point. Ah, yeah. you missed your chance, Mister Post. The chance. I was hoping you'd pick the uh, another number. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Should have just given me it. Actually, to be to be fair, of the three I had, I think you would have enjoyed drawing either of the other two. <laughs> so... yeah. That'd be great. Um, but I anyway, chose wrong. You Wendell. chose wrong. Wasn't the wrong option. You chose a bridge. Well done. <laughs> you chose the Brooklyn Bridge. Yay. Um. Right. Cool. I like this friend. I, d I don't. I don't care about predatory, translucent other ones or non-translucent. Yeah, <laughs> I like mine with his lumps, <laughs> with yeah. his caved-in skull. <laughs> I, I, I like the human who's like, I'm not angry at you. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> Come here, Mister. Just here you go. <laughs> Not scared, just... Mm. <laughs> oh, this again. I mean, it doesn't have eyes. It can't see you. I think that's the, how it works in the game, is like you have to crawl around it slowly and not make noise. And just stand around and just be like... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can't see that you're making faces at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing is it's smiling because it thinks the person's smiling. It's like, oh, hi, how you doing? The human's like, oh god, not him again. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Cool. I like this friend. <laughs> it's a good. It's Christy. a friend. <laughs> As punishment for giving Jibby that. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like a ragdoll prompt? Yeah. I'm glad you said okay. that because I wouldn't know what to do if you said no. <laughs> So, Christy, you get SCP-3143. Um, when active, this construct exhibits the ability to temporarily flatten, in quotes, portions of reality into a script-like narrative. The narrative is derivative of the genre established by North American writers of hard-boiled and noir fiction. <laughs> During this period, SCP-3143 takes on the role of the main character, a 1930s private detective hired to solve a case. All entities flattened by this its effect to become characters within the narrative surrounding it, exhibiting personalities and attributes typically of the genre's style. The narrative will continue until the SCP's action leads to a resolution consistent with the genre. At this point, the narrative will conclude and reality will revert. <laughs> so it just makes life noir. <laughs> <laughs> it lives its own fan fiction. Um, yes. That's fun. <laughs> that's not a zipper. <laughs> no, it is not. 
I want to make I want to make that into a crispy fact now. Just have a picture of a zipper, and the 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 fact is just. I'm not going to explain this. <laughs> <laughs> just no. <laughs> yeah, just no. <laughs> Time to re-roll. <laughs> crispy facts number six six six. No. <laughs> no. Time for a treat. <gasps> Actual dog. Yeah. We we have had two dog friends so far. <laughs> One of them wasn't <laughs> supposed to be a dog, but it's a dog. <laughs> dog frog. I mean, anything can be a dog if you really want it to be. <laughs> Satanic crispy facts. I mean, zipper-based facts. <laughs> so the containment procedures section here is sort of funny. Attempts to contain SCP-3143 are ongoing. A foundation-operated bot is to monitor online fiction communities for signs of its emergence. <laughs> Does it live on AO3? Oh, I thought that was yeah. deliberate, miss. I, th I thought you you wrote facts with a... Satanic crispy facts with a crucifix. I thought that was deliberate. <laughs> if not, wonderful, wonderful coincidence. Should be an upside-down crucifix, surely. You have no idea what you did to make it happen. Well... Clearly, your phone, tablet, computer is an SCP now. It got possessed, and now it's making <clears throat> crucifix facts. <laughs> Just slapping the keyboard. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Oh, miss, I should. I, I feel like I should say I used your likeness. On Friday, um, we were playing Drawful, and oh, right. <laughs> yeah, and I drew I, I drew you and Chibi waving your hands around because I got the prompt. Uh, what what was it? It was uh, music musical theater people, or yeah, something it was like, like musical that. theater kids or something like that. <laughs> I was like, what what do I draw for that? Oh, I know. <laughs> And I just wrote as my guest friends. Yeah, friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is very wholesome. <laughs> so if there's, if there's a takeaway from this, is that if GB sees a picture of you and them together, their first thought is friends. <laughs> You were going to say you weren't a musical theatre kid, but you were. So, okay, so is this... This SCP, is it? Is it a... It is a person, right? Yeah, well, sort of. <laughs> so apparently what has happened, and there's a couple of interview logs that go with this, uh, apparently someone wrote... It, it, like, okay, so there's the person, and then there's the SCP. So you've got SCP-314-A... Uh, who apparently sort of became the SCP via writing. Actually, the first interview here starts off, and it's an interview log, and it's being written as, like, noir <laughs> mystery thing, and then it slowly sort of works its way back into the standard format as the doctor's like, right, time to contain this thing, and contains it. Uh... But apparently it just sort of gets out every so often and, like, possesses another person to write a thing. And the person then becomes the, like, hard-boiled detective in the narrative until the thing gets fixed. And then just writes the story and then it just sort of goes on from there. So. That's fun. 
So I guess if you <laughs> randomly, thing. I guess if you randomly write any noir fiction stories, uh, it might be because you've suddenly become you you were previously possessed by three one four three, and you're just sort of writing down what happened. Nice. So it could be any one of us. I mean, I, I, I admire the uh, the zeal of just jumping into this sort of behind-the-shoulder perspective. <laughs> Thanks. It's a bad idea. <laughs> it's going well. <laughs> yeah, I love the SCPs that, that use the format of an SCP to their advantage. So the whole sort of scientific thing. In, in this case, they're sort of subverting it of like, this is supposed to be a proper scientific text, but it's being written like a noir because of the SCP. Yeah, and it's sort of funny because in this book, well, interesting. Because it sort of works, it, and it even changes font as well. So it starts off with the noir style stuff, and then it works its way back into text, but... In, in the format of the interviews, but still with the same font as the noir, and then it works its way back into proper text and proper format and font. Um, and it basically that happens where it's just kind of like, okay, I am containing this. It's like basically the doctor's sort of talking this person out of being in the noir bit. <laughs> and it's sort of interesting because in another interview later down, the reverse happens. It starts as um standard interview and then the subject sort of talks them into it now it's in, <laughs> in the noir fiction dial so the reverse then happens later on down it's really neat this that is like whenever you're doing art in a medium it's always nice when the people can like take advantage of the medium that they're working in yeah so the fact that they're using not only the different font style, page formatting, way of the text is set up, written written descriptions between uh, people's dialogue to sort of show that like we've got this weird switch going on between reality and this constructed reality is just really cool. Yeah, I've, I've got one that does that a little bit, but um, one of my favorite ones... Um, I can't remember. I can remember neither the number nor the name, which makes it difficult to find again. Um, but part oh, of yeah. it, it, it's it's a it's a much larger thing. But part of it is all to do with names and the implication that something can steal your name. Um, and there's like an interview between two people, and halfway through, one of the one of the people who seemed very confident suddenly becomes very confused. And you realize what's happened is that during the conversation, that person stole the other person's name. And but but the the names are just carrying on as if the conversation is alternating between person and person. You don't know, you know, not, nothing is said that that happens, but you can just tell by the dialogue that it happened halfway through. It's just like good use of the interview format. It's, it's very good. Yeah, especially since like, again, it's since you can't see what's going on using those weird text clues of, oh no, wait a minute. Oh, good. Art is good. <laughs> As a I side note, I think the SCP website just like gives a random article every couple of minutes to like everyone oh, really? because I got that one as well when I randomized it uh... <laughs> which yeah, is what was... required for a bit because I had to search for a new one. <laughs> oh no this this isn't that I, I just randomly generated one and I didn't get it I got uh... yeah well this was generated no, but earlier I... Yeah, I yeah, yeah. generated it earlier, so probably at the same time as Ragdoll, so we got the same one. <clears throat> no, and yeah, there was another one where we were both sitting there going, oh yeah. no, we just hit random and we got the same page. So I think they just like 
generally like randomize every few minutes an article for everyone. Yeah, it's an odd way of doing it. everyone can see. Which is a weird way to randomize things. Yeah, local randomization is a bit strange. As opposed to sort of client based. Yeah. How strange. But it's a good thing we either try to sort it out in advance or are using a different wiki. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it's also a good thing that most of us generated multiple pages so we can just sort of use what we have. <clears throat> um, yeah, but if you want to generate one at the moment, it's the seven inch single by the bees. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a soul bees? single. Yeah, American soul group, the bees, apparently. Um, yeah, I assume I if you'd, if you'd listen. I assume if you listen just... to it, you're compelled to eat your own hand or something stupid. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just used number generator and went through a whole lot of things. <laughs> Yeah, that that is the great advantage. If you want to do your own random generation of SCP, just pick a number between one and six thousand, and you'll be sorted. How does doors work? Good question. It hinges. Hmm. And Hinge. wooden plank with hinges attached to wall? Oops. Question mark. <laughs> I clicked on something. Whoa, whoa. Now I have a layer in the middle of my screen. <laughs> Oops. It's not handy. Oh no, extra layers. Do I go that way? Denmark, that's a thick door. This is tall guy. Is is anyone planning on using this record article, or can I just say a random sentence from it? Go for um, it. It's not one of the ones I have up. <clears throat> me cool. Neither. I just want to I want to say this sentence because because uh, the physical record aspect of SCP three seven nine six is home to a highly aggressive class seven non corporeal ideatic new sphere based sapient personality matrix. What now? Excuse me. <laughs> the physical record aspect of SCP three seven nine six is home to a highly aggressive class seven non corporeal ideatic new sphere based sapient personality matrix. That of doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's just like it has a footnote. Um, but I don't want to read it because this probably explains it, and that's that's not fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those were words. <laughs> is is uh, new was... sphere a word? N O O sphere. I mean, it is now. <laughs> it that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are just words. <laughs> like sure. every word, like individually, means something, but then you put them together and. No. <laughs> I mean, that does come from the person who refused to accept that prefer, pref, proper <laughs> is a word. <laughs> so. Well, I already gave you an article, so I can't proffer you another one. That was... That was... I was going to keep that as a Offer joke. Offer us the word. <laughs> it is. No. Uh, well, it was, at least. Not a word. Never mind that it keeps popping up now that I've seen <laughs> it as a word. To be fair, it keeps popping up just because I keep making it pop up. <laughs> no, even outside of you, I've seen it pop up more often. Oh, no, I'm, I'm an really SCP. Weird. I, I have anom anomalous properties that allow me to make the word prefer uh, arrive in your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
I wasn't interesting enough for an article, but I, it's an ability I have. You weren't interesting enough for an article? <laughs> I mean, I assume you are. I mean, my You own, should have an article. That's my only anomalous ability. And it's just that word. I, mean, I can't do it with any other word. <laughs> there, SCPs, there are SCPs out there with less abilities than that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, like, Note I... yourself, add Freeman as SCP, add Chris as SCP. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sure there must be an SCP that's like... Like, can we make the SCP that it's the least remarkable? <laughs> like, I guess there there was there was the joke SCP, which is SCP so on and so forth. It uh, I, I think it makes you procrastinate. I'll finish this later. So mm. there was that one. Um, I'm pretty sure there was an SCP where the the interview written on it is written as if it was like people in the SCP forum discussing things and. Well, most of them. So there's like three um, scientists, and one of them is like treating this seriously, and the other ones are written as if they were people in the forums who are just kind of like, ah, oh, this has been done before, whatever. The other guy's just kind of like, guys, what? No, this is what? This is dangerous. Take this seriously, please. Um, I'm done. Yeah, you drew a scene. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share the page itself because, like I said, there's some interesting stuff there. Um, this is so there isn't a picture of it, but we have an artistic depiction of the SCP. Oh, great! I mean, do we have pictures of any SCP? Some of them. No, but this one is this one is literally the caption of it is literally artistic depiction of SCP one three uh, three one four three. <laughs> So, Look like, this is explicitly document. not an image of it. This is a artistic rendition of it. Because, it again, is... the SCP just sort of appears in a novel or as a novel. Well, Who also... rude is Julia? <laughs> this is Ju like how Will I wanted to draw it. <laughs> just as another little aside, I noticed this when I was <laughs> randomly generating earlier. Every now and then, uh, the little SCP logo in the top left will have a pride flag uh, behind it. Aww. Aww. That's uh, cute. The, the trans flag came up when I was testing. And now I've got the uh, LGBT rainbow. That's, That's nice. cute. SCPs are wholesome. Yeah, well. For the well. One. <laughs> They'll fill you full, full of holes, I guess. <laughs> Atroc atro atrocities do not discriminate. But yeah, this is great. Yeah. Also, I sort of like the idea of like being possessed by a story almost, because that's sort of what's going on here. Yeah, like Mem it's a story that's like perpetuating itself. And SCPs that are an idea are quite interesting. <laughs> it's just it, it is an idea that has effects in the real world. Yeah, isn't fiction just that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But well usually said. when someone says they were possessed <laughs> to write a story, they don't mean it literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Sometimes I they mean, do. I don't know if they meant it literally. I haven't written a book. Well, there we go. I think that's good. I call. I call. <clears throat> <laughs> right. Um, Ragdoll, would also, you... I like how you blocked out the other person's head. It's got, to, it's got to be redacted. <laughs> That's the SCP. He's just the guy writing. Oh, right. The possessed person. Yes, Ragdoll, would you like... Would you, would you like yes. one from from me? Would yes. Okay. Uh, small yes. number or big number? Let's go big number. Big number, cool. <clears throat> oh, you have SCP-5369. Um, or, I guess more accurately, depending on how much work you want to do, SCP-5369-A and SCP-5369-B. Um, SCP-5369-A is a woman by the name of Florence Penemue, who is 
a f- who doesn't age. Um, upon death, she will rapidly decompose into dust and then just appear somewhere else at some time. At some time, she'll just reappear. Um, yeah, she's been alive for uh, about three hundred years, four hundred years, something like that. At the moment, she has immortality, but she can be killed. She just pops back. Um, SCP five three animates. Yeah, apparently she can. What was it? Uh, uh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes she can just appear like in a city. Sometimes just on the top of a mountain. Just, just somewhere. Um, SCP five three six nine B is another woman with exactly the same qualities, who seems to be absolutely obsessed with tracking down five three six nine A and killing her. Oofa. Um, constantly. Uh, and it doesn't matter what else is going on. Doesn't matter any, you know, civilian casualties, any anything. That's all she wants. Um, and the story essentially kind of boils down to these two maybe had a thing going on um, back in the 1700s or whatever it was. And A found a way to make people immortal and decided to give that gift to themselves and to their friend, but without telling her she was going to do it. Oh, Uh, no. (laughs) And she wasn't very happy (laughs) with the idea of living forever. So yeah, she's just basically trying to exact some sort of revenge by chasing her down over and over and over and over again. Oh dear. Always Um, ask consent before you turn someone (laughs) immortal. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I quite like this because the there's most of this article is an interview between a scientist called Bright, who was a recurring character in SCP World, um, and A. And Bright, apparently at this point in SCP's uh, existence, is also immortal. So (laughs) there's a nice chat, immortal to immortal, while an immortal is tracking them down to kill them. But I mean... I mean, that's one way to break up with your ex. It's, yeah. One way to make sure your ex breaks up with you. Yeah. (laughs) I quite like that uh, uh, all the best SCP articles must have some unanswered questions. Um, but and one of the things here is, is it's never explicitly given how she got this immortality to work. Um, but the scientist asks, hey, how does she keep being able to find you? You know, she, she finds it quite quickly, all things considered, <laughs> given that they have an entire world to look around. Um... And SCP, uh, the the Killy, as it were, um, says, yeah, maybe it's a trick that she learned from an acquaintance, or maybe it was that grey-eyed bastard, damn it. So, grey-eyed bastard. The grey-eyed bastard. I'm assuming that's the person they got immortality from. Um, I'm, I'm intrigued as to who the grey-eyed bastard is. Um, yeah. And it's at that point that everyone dies. Um, <laughs> well, of course. Yeah, so basically, Can't have all of our questions answered. Ex, ex lesbian lovers who are now immortal, one of whom wanted to be, and the other of whom didn't. <laughs> um, I mean, she didn't have to, like, kill civilians over it. So, who's um, really the villain? That, that is one of the things, <laughs> actually, in this is that there's, there's a little argument in the uh, uh between. Uh, the scientists and the directors at the end saying there is an argument here to say that we should actually not contain this because every time we try and contain it everybody who's doing the containing is going to get killed <laughs> like this, yeah. this this b is going to hunt down a regardless of what we do maybe it's best if we actively don't contain this person <laughs> <laughs> sounds you like a think plan. so <laughs> Or maybe just contain B and let A just sort of 
go elsewhere. Contain them separately? Oh, no. Uh, B, it, it says here, if you at any attempt to capture B causes B to basically just terminate themselves, and then they oh. reappear somewhere. They have the same That's ability. Yeah, well, yeah, I um, just let them do their thing, I guess. <laughs> also, I've just read the caption here. I assumed there is a picture of somebody here. Um, and I assumed <clears throat> it was a picture of A, but it's actually a picture of B, so... We have a picture of the killer. Nice. But not the... Killy. Killy. <laughs> I like how we both went for the same non-word. <laughs> <laughs> but Hobbit name. The persona of your poofy dress. They're from the 1700s, it's fine. I don't even care if this isn't what they're... They didn't really have the poofy dresses back then. They have them now. Yeah, the, the anomalies first came to the attention of the Foundation uh, in 1863. Um, initially, B was theori theorised to be a serial killer, um, but at the, when it was discovered that all the victims had the same name, uh, that rang alarm bells. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Unless you're just like a really specific serial killer, I guess. We're just really interested in removing from reality every single person named, I don't know, Sue Ellen. <laughs> it's Florence. Flor we know oh. A's called Florence. I don't think we know who B's called, what B's name is. Big oh, I... I, I I just scroll down. It literally just says the name there, Elizabeth. She's from Plymouth. And Elizabeth. Florence and Elizabeth. You see why I thought Chibi might like this because I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Chibi will AU this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still might. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Honestly, I... yeah. That, that's fair because I absolutely plan on drawing the, my third story myself as well. So, <laughs> and you give me an STP article after Ragdoll's done drawing. Can do, can do. I mean, I've been putting, I put the two SCP articles I had in there because I, I just like I said, I think they're neat. Yeah. The one I think is just really funny because the whole concept of a guy where it's just kind of like, yeah, he's not a god, a god just. <laughs> decided to take a break and forward all of their calls to some random dude. Um, is oh, that re really funny. That reminds me of, um, is it in the fourth Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy book? There's a guy who's like the god of storms or something, but he's he's just a guy. He has no idea he's the god of storms, so he's, he hasn't noticed that it is always raining wherever he goes. <laughs> Because the clouds just want to be with him. Is it, there is God. It's like, oh, great, there he is. Let's follow him around. <laughs> he just thinks he's really unlucky with yeah. the weather. <laughs> I think he's a lorry driver or something. He's just driving his cab and it's always raining. <laughs> awesome. He must, like, hate the weather and the weather's just like, but, but. <laughs> I don't think he hates it. I, I think it's like... Oh, if I remember correctly, he like keeps a little book of like the different types of rain that are happening at any given time because he's just always <laughs> surrounded by rain. So he's like, "Oh, today it's this sort of rain." To be fair, if it was, if like all you knew was that it was raining, and be just like, "Yeah, whatever, it's always raining." <laughs> I mean, so okay, so where I live is very well known for having wildly different weather uh, just like within an hour or so of each other uh, to the point that uh, people studying to be like weather forecasters and meteorologists and whatnot come here to study because you can see so many things in such a short span of time <laughs> uh, and we do have people around here where their actual job is storm chasing so oh yeah they, they will go out of their way to uh, go out into the tornado and thunderstorm and follow it around and see what's going on. That's uh, couldn't be me. 
could not be me, but you know, <laughs> got to make a living somehow, I guess. Yeah, we Britain being an island, we're we're subject to uh, erratic weather patterns, but they're never particularly extreme. You know, we have, you know, particularly where we are, we're in a little valley here, so you know, it could be absolutely chucking it down with rain five minutes down the road, and here it's perfect sunshine. Um, yeah, that does happen. Well, we've got cold weather coming down from the Rockies. We've got warm, wet weather coming up, uh, warm, wet winds coming up from the Gulf. Uh, and then they hit each other and they start spinning. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> oh, yay. Well, you can't, you know, you can't. <laughs> oh, out of context, it sounds really weird. You can't brush a fuzzy ball. <laughs> um... <laughs> it sounds weird in context. You can't brush a fuzzy ball. If you have, like, a, a fuzzy sphere... If you try and brush it, there will always be a little cyclone. There will always be a little... It... You, can't, you can't brush it all in one direction. Yeah, that's called a... Shoot. I Oosh. didn't know what that was called. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a thing. Um, basically, if you've got anything that's got like a sort of pattern to it, there's always... There's always going to be these weird spots where it's like different parts of the pattern are meeting, and it's like, okay, how do we fix? It? So you, you see the same thing in like people's hair. So if like if you look at a, a baby's head, they've got these weird little circles of hair in the back. And also, there's a similar thing that happens with your fingerprints. So at the in the like middle sort of bottom-ish part of your finger where it uh, pops up a little bit. Um, it looks re it looks weirder and much swirlier than say what's above it because basically you've got one pattern coming starting from like the tips downwards and then there's another pattern palms upwards and when they meet it's like what do we do here? Um, oh, it, it is that... actually called the hairy ball theorem. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Like... Oh, yeah. That that tracks, and also I hate it. <laughs> every every zero of a vector field has a non-zero index, and the sum of the indices must be two because of the Euler characteristic of the sphere. Yeah, you can do it on a donut, though. Again, this goes back to the topology thing we were talking about before. Enough maths. We did lots of maths last time. <laughs> No more maths. Hairy balls, enough. <laughs> Just miss. <laughs> miss has left the chat. Cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. Appropriate. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to hear you talk about your hairy balls. That's <laughs> okay, well, I've given this person a knife, so this is definitely B. B. And I. I Elizabeth. I I like that it looks like the head has a face too. <laughs> yeah. From erasing the lines. It's a sorting hat. <laughs> Gonna it's sort you out. Sorting. Yeah, it's sorting out who needs to die. <laughs> Look on her face as if like, well, I'm going to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here we go again. <laughs> More death. All right. <clears throat> so here we are. Here's our murderous lady. So you said we have a picture of B? We have a picture of B, yes. Uh huh. Are they going to fit with the detective guy? Probably not. Oh, it's just oh. an antique photo. Yeah. Oh, right. That would have been the time where everyone was just kind of like, let's put random bits of flora into our hair. <laughs> <laughs> Quite dead once, it would seem, too. Mm. Yeah, that was actually a... So I don't know if that ever happened on the other side of the pond, but here in the States, there was a big movement, uh, an animal rights movement, because there was just way too many fancy ladies who really wanted to put dead birds on their hats. 
Yeah. Why? Just an albatross. Fashion. <laughs> because they're pretty. So yeah, just kill some birds, taxidermy them, and stick them on your hats. A pretty dead. And then, yeah, and then it's like, hey, maybe don't do that. Because you're killing oh. off a bunch of birds and they're going extinct. For your hat. I love those dead flowers, then. Yeah, the dead flowers are sort of preferable. They're a bit easier to, like, grow. Um, <clears throat> you're only does... killing lots of small things, then. <laughs> Yeah, but a lot of the time, the stuff you're doing, it's like pansies or whatnot, you can regrow those every year. It's fine. It's a little harder to grow a full-blown bird each year. Well, if you're trying to blow it, it's not going to grow. That's that's not how they grow. You need, you need and what if you want to change your hat? Don't inflate them. Yeah, don't inflate the birds. <laughs> right. I'm thinking of a bird from Shrek being inflated. Can you yeah, think too high and then explode? Is it? Can you call that? Oh, I was about to say that was an immortal serial killer. Is it? <laughs> They've only killed one person. They've just done it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it did say whichever um, civilian got in the way. Oh yeah, she does. Yeah, she does get a lot of collateral. But yeah, there is that. But she wasn't like. Trying to kill those people, they yeah. just sort of got in her way. So. They just sort of died. <laughs> I don't oh, know what happened. They just sort of died. They just, uh, they just happened to be here trying to kill someone else. <laughs> they just died. <laughs> it's funny, really. <laughs> right. uh, that guy died by stab wound, and I have this bloody <laughs> knife. But I don't know really how they died because I was kind of too focused on Florence over there. Yeah. <laughs> You know when you really get into something and you just forget about stuff going on around you? It's uh, terrible. Um, Jibby, do you have a thing for me? Yes. Um, As yes, punishment okay. for Bridge. <laughs> As punishment, you get the one I very quickly try to randomize because <laughs> <laughs> we got the same article. <laughs> I got the same article as Ragnall. Um, it's SCP-5655, and I believe it was also called, um, the exact kind of genie you'd expect from, like, a can of spam. <laughs> <As a genie. laughs> the exact kind of genie you would expect from a can of spam. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, All right. uh, SCP-5655 is an empty can of spam, which, when shaken or turned over, will manifest SCP-5655-1, which is a 7.5 centimeter translucent red humanoid oh, with tiny. reality bending capabilities. Aww. Why are they all red? <clears throat> Translucent red request, is a, is a, is a beginning thing. Beginning words, I wish SCP-56551 will alter reality in an attempt to fulfill the request. However, uh, their, uh, their limited reality altering capabilities will often result in requests being only loosely fulfilled. <laughs> I mean, that's just a genie. <laughs> um... <laughs> um there are some like examples of wishes, and one I find really funny are these two wishes that are like uh, were asked, like wished one after the other. So one was I wish for a heavy stone. So uh, they made a two point two kilogram stone appear, which crushed them, <laughs> which crushed the genie. <laughs> Aww. And then the next wish was, I wish for something strong. So they lifted the stone above its head, set the stone down, and then pointed at itself. <laughs> now that's a humor genie. It, it, uh, these, this is my favorite ones. I love these stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's silly. Honestly, you just... 
all I needed to hear was the exact sort of genie you would expect from a can of spam, and I'm on board. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to write the rest of the article at that point. You are. <laughs> Um, some other examples of wishes uh, wish a method of containing SCP-56551 the result SCP-56551 climbed into the spam container and closed the lid <laughs> <laughs> There was, I, I seem to remember there was a another. It it was a it was a box that answered questions that you put in it or something like that, and it had a similar sort of flippant thing, but it was also sort of dangerous. So like, they put in a question of, "Hey, how do we make unlimited energy?" And so the box just sort of made a massive nuclear explosion happen, and. It was, <laughs> and and at the end of it, it was like, oh, I tried real hard, but it, it turns out it's probably not going to happen. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> you killed thousands of people. <laughs> but it's just the way it was so flippant. It's like, I tried, I really tried, guys. <laughs> I mean, SCP-56501 can apparently also be somewhat dangerous. Because I just read this wish. I wish for a way to more effectively limit the influence of opposing groups of interest. Result, a Molotov cocktail and a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's not wrong. <laughs> but, uh, maybe don't? <laughs> I love this one. Wish. I wish for the beauty of a sunset. Result. A piece of paper with a crude colored pencil drawing of a sunset. <laughs> Additional note. I tried my hardest was written on the back. And <laughs> <laughs> it tries. <laughs> this one seems less charming than the aww. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not making, like, nuclear bombs inside of itself. <laughs> it's just sort of being sassy. A sassy pants. Oh, God. <laughs> I love this man being stuffed into his fan box. <laughs> <laughs> What's the brand uh, there? Uh, Budweiser. Budweiser. <laughs> yeah, he's just got like, you know, I'd, I'd, rather than like sort of shackles or anything like that, I thought it was just like beer cans, beer cans or something, just <laughs> rammed <laughs> onto his arms. Um, exactly the exact kind of genie I would expect out of a can of spam. <laughs> this is what I'm going. This is what I expect from a. Hang on. I don't know <laughs> what like... I would expect to come out of a can of spam. Just in general, also. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, in general, I'd say true. in general, I'd say spam. But I also don't know what to expect out of a can of spam, even if I know it has spam in it. <laughs> yep. <Yeah>, true. <laughs> And uh, it's kind of hard to know what to expect from spam, considering what spam is. In, doesn't spam, like the name spam, it, it's not even in reference to ham. It, it's an it's a uh, acronym. Yeah. Oh, okay. gross. And I, I, can, I can never remember what the acronym is, partially because I don't eat a heck of a lot of spam. And by heck of a lot, we... I, the last time I ate spam was a very, very long time ago. <clears throat> Some partially approximated meat. There we go. <laughs> Special processed American meat. <laughs> well, you know it's amazing cuisine if it has the word American in front of it. Yeah, That's exactly. One, one step up from British. <laughs> American meat. 
special process. Yum yum. Um, <laughs> yum yum. Indeed. <laughs> I do feel like you should have some sort of like medallion or something, but I don't know what. Um. <laughs> Apparently, the original oh, no. meaning behind spam is unknown. So spam is made by a company called originally made by a company called Hormel uh, in 1937. Called what? The company is named Hormel, okay. and they claim that the meaning of the name is known by only a small circle of formal Hormel food executives. Right. So nobody knows. <laughs> That's not what Google says. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's here's my. Yay, family. <laughs> exactly what you would expect from a can of spam. Yeah. This one does have a picture. <laughs> oh, wonderful. <laughs> I can't remember what the spam yeah, yeah. looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I love them. <laughs> That's great. Oh, is the very, a very <laughs> small genie. <laughs> Yeah, it's 7.5 centimeters. Fantastic Photoshop job there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I think it's adorable. It uh, is, in a yeah, weird kind is, of way. That's funny. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> this... Whenever anyone talks about SCP, they always talk about the, the horror stuff and the, the, these ones, these are the best. <laughs> spam Genie. I'm genius. I love, I love Spam Genie. <laughs> they're not even malicious, they're just kind of like, they're incompetent. I don't know, I'm trying my best to be a genie here. <laughs> Look. They're, they're just sort of small and slightly sassy. They gave this one a lamp. They put this one in a pyramid. I got spammed. Do you think I'm any good? <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to upgrade exactly to lunch and meet one day. Exactly the kind of you'd expect from a can of spam. Do I look like corned beef? No. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I forgot to share uh, the immortal ex-lovers. There we are. Um, Thank cool. You. Right. Um, I guess already twenty-four minutes over. Let's move on <laughs> to the final. <laughs> the Let's go even more over. <laughs> yeah. Um, look, good, good, fun time with friends has no time limit, with the possible exception of if any of you want to go. Um. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty but, sure that all of us need to sleep at some point. Uh, at some point, yes. Um, unfortunately, this stream is an SCP, and you can now no longer sleep. Um, oh no! Don't know what that feels like. <laughs> oh. Right. So, joint draw time. No, get, go away, chat. Stop it. Leave. Um, bad chat. No, don't don't select a single pixel. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so now final round. Uh, Ragdoll and Chib exchange prompts. Christy and Chris exchange prompts. Okay, Chibi, do you want something simple or do you want something complicated? Uh, oh, oh. Um. Uh, let's do something simple. Okay, so you get SCP two two zero eight. Uh, who is a two-quart blank brand stainless steel soft saucepan. The inside is coated with a nonstick polymer believed to be polytetrafluor... I can't pronounce that. Um, the handle has been modified to include a USB standard A receptacle, purpose of which has yet to be determined. Um, investigation is pending. The SBC does not transfer heat as a stainless steel saucepan should, and heat testing up to 2,300 degrees Celsius has been unable to warm its surface. When a human subject makes skin contact with any part of, SP of the SBC, there is a 29% chance that the subject will be transformed into a saucepan in a process that takes approximately 0.8 seconds. Instances of 
uh, SPC 2208A, uh, which is what they named the new suspense match, SPC 2208's appearance, apart from the lack of a USB reciprocal. <laughs> they are otherwise non-autonomous. Subjects unaffected by initial contact with SPC 2208 are able to safely handle it thereafter. So it's a saucepan that turns people into other saucepans. <laughs> that that okay. took a hard right turn. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> and the thing that makes me amused is that object class is safe. Yeah, keep it so in the box. Consider... Don't touch it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it, so it's like, okay, there's only a 29% chance you're going to get turned into a saucepan. And if you don't get turned into a saucepan, it won't turn you into a saucepan. It's fine. <laughs> and the, s safe means we don't have to worry about containing this. If you just weld it into a box, this thing's not going to cause problems. <laughs> Basically, there's a 29% chance you're going to be turned into a saucepan, but there's a 0% chance if you don't touch it. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> that, that's the gist of safe. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Rachel, I'm going to give you a jokey... A joke. I, I got a randomly generated jokey... SCP one. So you're gonna get that one because the pics are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and the description right. too. I'm gonna read the description to you. <laughs> the bestest lizard ever is a big lizard with big teeth and he can't die because he can turn into anything. Sometimes he is very small because he can be that because he can be anything. <laughs> this sounds like someone wrote this with, like, predicted text. <laughs> <laughs> the bested lizard. <laughs> Not lizard. With an E. <laughs> lizard. Is also very smart. He has an IQ of a bajillion. And one day he talked with a very smart computer. And they were both very smart. He eats anything and he uses his nose to do special eating so that he can eat anything he can do anything this really reads like it was written by someone's like six-year-old cousin who's really into spooky stories but isn't that great at stringing words together yet <clears throat> yeah And I, I love it. the log of it too, and I love the log. <laughs> I, I think I know what it's referencing, which I think yeah. it was an, another one I drew at the beginning of the stream, actually. Yeah, but... <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> I don't know the joke. Um, Christy, what do you have for me? Um, I didn't get anything fun, so I ended up going to joke SCP scrolling and clicking. Fantastic. Um, Two jokes. <laughs> you, it, I couldn't find any fun ones otherwise. Um, to make up for the horrifying zippers we had earlier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is SCP 810J. Um, SCP 810 is a male German shepherd capable of American English speech. Um, oh. Very. Got it. Yay, SCP-810 will not engage in conversation on any subject other than whether or not the other participant is willing to lend them $5,000. Um, <laughs> SCP-810 will regurgitate a small porcelain figure of a stylized toadstool um, and offer it as collateral for the exchange if the approached individual appears uninterested. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The rest right. is all about the debt of five thousand that it apparently has. Okay. Um. Right. Well. Fantastic. I'm gonna have to draw a dog regurgitating a porcelain figure of a toadstool. <laughs> um. <laughs> sure. Um. Yours is SCP four five six three. SCP four five six three is an American brown cockroach, uh, Periplanita Americana, that measures roughly two meters in height, excluding antenna. 
The subject has a preference for blue pinstripe suits and a blue bowler hat. Um, <laughs> all of these have been modifi modified to accommodate for additional appendages. Um, this is often accompanied by a badge labelled Dr. Barnabas P. Lockwood. Um, basically... Oh, it's the silly round now. <laughs> I, this is not a joke one. Um, I mentioned before that there are four different classes of objects and there's one called Thormiel which is hey this is actually useful yeah this this cockroach works as a uh, um, psychotherapist <laughs> um, in the foundation basically anyone who's having you know needs counselling in the SCP foundation just go and talk to the cockroach they're good they're very good at their job um, the thing I actually really like about this article is there's a sentence. Yeah, the SCP-4563 is scored high on the empathy quotient test and appears to be psychologically stable. The next sentence is in red. Um, and it says, the subject is unable to see the color red. Information that's classified to it is shaded as such. So the, the rest of the article is just <laughs> littered with information which they don't want the cockroach to see, so they've written it in red. <laughs> In particular, there's a, sen <laughs> there's a sentence here saying, The subject has shown itself to be trustworthy to the degree that it's been t determined that they would benefit the Foundation it is if it is instated as an, in red, unpaid employee. Poor thing. Um, okay, uh, occasionally, its physical form will, de uh, will degrade into a, a group of cockroaches. It will just collapse into a pile of cockroaches however this is considered rare enough that it's of no concern and then in red this will happen don't worry <laughs> so yeah so big... not a giant cockroach it's a lot of cockroaches it is a giant cockroach but it will occasionally turn into a lot of normal cockroaches in the middle of your yeah. therapy session <laughs> which i'm sure is just really great for your therapy but it is apparently a really good therapist so dr barnabas p lockwood there you go Hi, Doc. You died in your RPG. Oh, dear. You get to now see us draw very silly things, only some of which are jokes. Um, Did you say something about the USB? Or do I remember that? Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. there's a USB on the saucepan. <laughs> <laughs> the USB That's... has a The saucepan has a USB port. That's my favorite yeah. detail because it's completely unnecessary. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Apparently, though, there is an interview here where, um, yeah. Apparently, someone, one of the researchers, was cleaning it and then recharged their MP3 player via the USB port. Okay. <laughs> MP3 sure. player. So wait, it has power in it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, and doing that apparently caused an MP3 pop file to appear on the MP3 player, and there is a transcript of the audio. Oh, you got you got better from dying. Cool. <laughs> That's you're not you're not a seventeenth century woman, are you? <laughs> Being stalked by another seventeenth century woman. He kills you and you turn and turns you into dust. How do lizard legs work? <clears throat> sort of right.
Mm. Welcome to the portion of the stream where we just don't talk. Yeah, because we're all concentrating on drawing our very silly... How do I make it so he's smart? <clears throat> I'll give him a monocle. Like, I, I mean... I, I, you you could consider the immortal slightly sort of horrific story, um, but generally speaking, aside from the zipper, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> that was fast. I, I mean, <laughs> the saucepan. The saucepan with the. Did you get USB? Did Did you get that yeah. right? If it has the wrong number of pins, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> you could do a kitchen. No. I mean, remember, it also turns <laughs> other people into saucepans, so you could draw a person who's turning into a saucepan. I don't want to figure out how someone do you, turns do you want to draw? Into... Do you want to draw a panimorph? What? Uh, uh, you're making a pun on animorph. Oh. But it's pan. Get it? Just call no, me the Punimorph. Okay, don't call me the Punimorph. Uh... <laughs> yeah, right, okay, cool. Let's do this properly. Yeah. It was it was a, a porcelain figurine of a toadstool, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. I just it, I just had that moment of like I really hope I heard that right because <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna look like the weird one. <laughs> I mean, considering what's come up in this round, uh, you're in good company as far as weird things are concerned. I'm just gonna read out the log on this jokey SCP with you because it's very funny. <laughs> nope. Uh, begin log. Doctor, name is blanked out. Now, why did you kill those farmers? SCP six A two. Ra. Dr. Blank, if you don't talk now, we will remove you from this attempt and place you back into SCP-682. <laughs> I'm smart. Dr. Blank, pardon? Motions to move microphone closer. SCP-682, I will eat you because I'm the bestest lizard ever. <laughs> hey guys, Dr. Blank, speak up. Move the mic up closer. SCP-682. I'm very hungry. <laughs> Dr. Blank to personnel. That microphone has only so much gain. Move it closer to it. Personnel. His throat's messed up, man. Look at it. He ain't talking. Gasps and screams. SCP-682. Appearing to assault the personnel's body. I have big teeth for chewing. <laughs> And log. <laughs> so yeah, in, in summary, um, everyone goes to the SCP website. It's very well written. Um, <laughs> some great ideas in there. <laughs> I mean, like I said, the noir one from earlier was just kind of like that's a really neat idea and a really neat way of presenting the idea. Uh. And the fact that that one's done jokingly on purpose. It's kind of like, yeah, they know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, there is another log. Written, I think, by Lizard. <laughs> <laughs> well, he am smart. Of course he can write. <laughs> the doctors used the crystal in the bestest lizard ever. They touched the lizard with the crystal and it hurt them, but not too much. <laughs> the bestest lizard ever had a crystal growing on him. 
Elizabeth is hurt. The crystal explodes. Oh. Elizabeth pops into little pieces, but then the pieces <laughs> came back together and made the lizard win. Beauty. <laughs> Great lizard. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm making it a very small lizard. So I mean, he did say he was very small because he could be anything. Is anything? It could be very small, but also very big and very strong, because he is a good <laughs> lizard and can be anything. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's just because when. The lizard talks in the log, he talks in all caps, and he has, like, weird spelling. So it just implies that, like, this whole article was written by the lizard. See, now I've got to sort of add that in here. <clears throat> I'm done. I mean, I'm, I, I guess I'm not far off <laughs> just drawing a dog, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a dog. You know what, we'll leave that sketchy. It sort of is nicer as a sketchy thing. <clears throat> Very nice, Chief. Thank you. Changing something. There we go. <clears throat> Is everyone done? Uh, and Chris seems to be just shading now. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't need to be a real artwork, Chris. <laughs> it isn't. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it probably is. No, it's not. We know you. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> You don't know me well enough, then. God damn it. <laughs> Shut up. Of course you had to do that. Can't just <laughs> make a drawing of a dog. <clears throat> also, That's a you good can't dog. just make a drawing of a saucepan. <laughs> it's a saucepan. There we are. I mean, to be fair, though, <laughs> at least with drawing the saucepan, it's like, okay, great, I've drawn a saucepan. And now I have so much time. <laughs> yeah. I drew the saucepan and was like, I can be done now, and was like two minutes in. <laughs> yeah, it's a it, yeah. I don't like that it's USB cable. Is his mouth? It's like <laughs> <laughs> I had it just in a random place before, but I like the mouth <clears throat> better. <laughs> I like the guy who's like, yeah, charging the phone. Yeah. <laughs> Sauce saucepan's like, you know, I'm evil, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how our tiny cockroach therapist also has a tiny notepad <laughs> for taking notes. I would, I would like to remind you this therapist is approximately two meters tall. <laughs> <laughs> why, why are all the SUPs two meters tall? Um, it always says yeah. roughly. Roughly two it's meters tall. Very high. Still, Depending like... on how rough you are, I'm, I'm roughly two meters tall. So. <laughs> but yeah, where are you around from? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm figuring my guy is just a lizard, and all of this stuff is kind of like <laughs> writing his own fanfiction about how awesome it is while it's just sitting in a terrarium. This is the lizard so, who can somehow use a typewriter. That's <laughs> and also knows what Godzilla is. So Godzilla on TV is like, yeah. Oh, that me. <laughs> 
It can be anything it wants to be, including Godzilla! <laughs> yeah! That's the bestest lizard! <laughs> yeah. How, how okay. many of these were deliberate jokes again? Was it only two? <laughs> yeah. Um, by desperation, the German Shepherd coughing up uh, a porcelain figure was a joke. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> mine and yeah. Chris were jokes. Yeah, the saucepan wasn't. Though I, it, right. it is just, it is just, it is just a saucepan. Um, <laughs> That's the saucepan. And it does have a USB port on the handle for yeah. reasons. Oh, I see. I see what happened. Somebody found that picture and like, why the hell does the saucepan have a USB port? I'm going to turn it into an SCP. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's that's how some of them work. It's like here's a weird picture. It's a, it's Go a writing it. it's a writing challenge. Here is the bestest lizard ever. <laughs> oh yes. Is that the Windows logo as an eye? Oh, bestest lizard. <laughs> a lizard. Lizard. <laughs> oh dear. Amazing. You want to see a picture of a German Shepherd? German Shepherd. I mean, it, who's it, going it, to say no to a picture of a dog? Is is it standing next to a porcelain figure of a toadstool? Unfortunately, not. Oh, I was, I was wondering where that came from. So why, why that as collateral? It is just uh, this is a good boy. Oh, no, a dog. Aww. No, that looks just like our last up. Well, not before last. Pop, pop, pop. Um, there is no picture of cockroach friend. Oh, thank you. Because looking pictures. at a cockroach should As draw this was torture. I, I am absolutely. I hope you don't take this as as a a personal slight, but I am absolutely planning on drawing this at some point myself. <laughs> I like how MS Painty these pictures all are. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it it does it feels like we've we've somehow gone a step below Spam Genie, which is <laughs> impressive. Like this is this is definitely. I I'm pretty sure here that yes, the SCP is a lizard, but it's only an SCP because it's like okay. We have a very smart lizard who apparently knows how to use a computer. <laughs> All it does is draw MS Paint pictures and type stuff in a notepad pile. file. So <laughs> we're not that worried about it. It's a but, beetle lizard. But it is a lizard that knows how to use a computer. So... And it all was it does a is joke draw... SCP, but now it's a real SCP. <laughs> all better, yeah, bets I, lizard. <laughs> Uh, also, yeah, I, we had uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's just like all of the stuff on this page is just this particular SCP's fan fiction about how awesome of an SCP it is. While it just sits <laughs> in, in its little terrarium with its little computer drawing and has paint <laughs> pictures. It's so cute. Hi, oh, Plamp. Oh, hell, smart lizard. Hi, Plamps. We have to talk about the gnome, though. <laughs> Yeah, I, I wanted to make it more interesting, so I added a gnome. <laughs> Is that what you were um, struggling to draw while we others were done? No, no, I was just doing a bit like, of shading. I have to put this gnome on. <laughs> no, I just wanted some shading, but it, it just ended up complicating the colours. Um, <laughs> this one to be all fancy. I also wanted to try and incorporate the fact that this dog has a $5,000 debt, but I couldn't work out a way of doing that. <laughs> Because <laughs> how do you represent physically a five thousand dollar debt on a dog? <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty impressive that a dog has a five thousand dollar debt. Hello, yeah. yeah, it is it is late. We are currently fifty minutes over our usual ending time, which at this point is not our usual ending time. <laughs> yeah, it's getting what ending time are you talking about? <laughs> um, but we draw lots. We drew lots of good friends. We drew many things. Here's a spam genie. Draw friends. Uh, what was that? That was oh, a guy who gets fire presents randomly. And then the little SCPs I drew. <laughs> Yarn friend. Uh, what was that? Oh, that was uh, frog friend. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the yarn friend off a little bit so that 
everything else a bit more. I love just the red like wash that background you get when I turn on turn on my frog dog. Yeah, you know, frog <laughs> frog dog. I mean at least at least with your frog dog thing things are like semi visible. It's not so much that... when I turn on the dog. <laughs> the eyes poke <laughs> through. Eyes. <laughs> Means you're alive in time to say hi. Hello, you're spectacular. So are you. Thank you for coming along. Uh, even your little friends from the beginning aren't even like yeah visible. <laughs> Just like a big line. <laughs> no. One seven three and Lewis. Plague Doctor are all covered up. Where's that two line from? I I still find it amazing that two of the doodles I did at the beginning have been drawn again over the course yeah. of the stream. <laughs> That's Wait, so? random numbers for you. Yeah, the lizard. I oh. mean, to be fair, I was drawing the serious one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the, the joking lizard is out. now its own thing. <laughs> it is, now yes. Now it's own SCP. <laughs> Ooh, face bottom. Yeah, that's 173. He wants to give you a hug and or snap your neck. Um. Yeah. What was your What was your second one, Jibby? I can't what see under the mess. The, my second oh. one. I mean, my second one was the big frog dog. Oh, okay. What, what was the first? Oh, I gave you the first the one. First it was the bridge one. Wasn't was it? The river. It was the same. Yeah. yeah. It was the it, it was the Brooklyn Bridge. Yes, I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> um. Wonderful. <laughs> well, I think we had we, we had a good time eventually trying to work out how once once we got past the zip, things worked out well. Um, <laughs> that that's something uh, out of context. <laughs> and it will remain out of yep. context. I refuse to give any more context. Nobody needs that context in their life. Uh <laughs> I mean, you could also just throw out the thing you said during the little maths break, just so that people can be even more confused about what happened. Oh yeah, um, you <laughs> you 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 can't was it you can't comb a hairy ball or whatever it was. <laughs> oh right. The hairy yes, ball the theorem. The Brooklyn Bridge is indeed an SCP. The Brooklyn Bridge <clears throat> is an SCP. There is a person made of small bricks underneath. And uh, somebody trying, somebody is co constantly trying to sell you it. Um, don't don't buy the book Brooklyn Bridge. That's that's the moral of the story. Um, um buy the Brooklyn Bridge from this weird person living underneath the bridge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a funny old world. Uh, <laughs> that was the first one we had, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. SCP. <laughs> was a thing when that dude um sold the Eiffel Tower. I mean Yeah people do that somebody sold London Bridge. Oh no they sold they sold London Bridge by convincing somebody that it was actually Tower Bridge. Which is what people think <laughs> London Bridge is. Uh, people see? like doing these sorts of things. Cautionary tales, SCPs. SCPs are cautionary tales. Don't you know, buttons are better than zips. Um don't lend money to a dog. Or borrow money from a dog. They probably won't pay back. Um What else? Don't what other make wishes on spam. Don't 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 make give wishes to spam genies. Um <laughs> Or do. You never know what's or, gonna or, happen. Yeah, it might just be funny, honestly. Do it. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> it might be a waste, but give it a go. Uh, <laughs> uh try and try and avoid saucepans if they have USB ports. Um, I mean, don't touch them, but you can charge your phone with them. <laughs> yeah. If if your uh, psychotherapist suddenly dissolves into a pile of cockroaches, don't worry about it. They're a professional. They just haven't had their coffee yet. They haven't had their coffee yet. Yeah. <laughs> they do look like they're interviewing the coughing machine. Um... <laughs> don't worry about just randomly getting burnt offerings or do worry about it yeah especially if you're renting try and find <clears throat> out what god is redirecting their mail to you and convince them to stop 
Um, if you suddenly find yourself acting like a noir protagonist, it'll end soon. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What else? My brain is tired. Yeah. We, we, we should probably stop. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for being here on either side of the screen. People in chat and people in... Wait. Why is the text thing called chat? I'm confused now. Um, <laughs> the thing with text is called chat. What do I call the bit with the actual chatting? Uh, people. People. Uh, pe I mean, okay. It's a voice call. So. Okay. People in chat and people in people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's an SCP for as that. Don't worry. People who, as opposed to the people who aren't in people. Yes. People who are instead in. I don't know, cockroaches. Yes, um, <laughs> people who are in bridges. It doesn't narrow it down, but it's a possibility. Um, you forgot how much you loved SCP. This has been an amazing stream. We come up with some good ones. I think Spam Genie is a highlight for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love Spam Genie. <laughs> Spam Genie is great. Um, yeah. And with that, on, on that Spam Genie note... Um, Oh, uh, we are chat. They are discorders. Okay, you're discorders. <laughs> I mean, we are we are just sort of strewing discourse all over the place here. So. Yes. Was that why it's called Discord? Because it's discourse. I mean, it's Discord is a word, but it never quite made sense as to the platform that it's supposed to be on. Anywho, this is not a conversation to be having two minutes before an hour late to end the stream. Um. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Let's talk for two more minutes. I want to go an hour over. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, let's make it, it's, it's the tenth stream. <laughs> we should do something special. <laughs> we already did something special. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's, it's more format. special. I mean, granted, You're I have spoiling them. <laughs> have the... <laughs> Gamers are all about causing discord. <laughs> I guess so. Unts, unts. Oh, I think things are being flashed on and off. On the screen that we can no longer see. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Frog friend is flashing. <laughs> There's a sentence. No, I can go back. <laughs> Let's go party. Why is this funny? <laughs> this is very entertaining for only us. <laughs> <laughs> Celebratory stream. Are you glad that you stayed up for this? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of, maybe. Who knows? Quickly, everyone draw SCP ninety six, and last one to finish does the weird scream. What's what's ninety six? Oh, was that the Eric thing or no? Uh, Let's look it up. Well, there's a ninety six J as well. Yeah, might be that. So that's fun. Oh, the shy guy. Oh, we watched a short film about that, didn't we? Um, the one that if you look at its face, it'll chase oh, you. Oh, right. That's the guy. Uh, no, we can't draw it for obvious reasons. Um. Yeah. I mean, I just looked at pictures of him, so I guess I'm gonna die. No, don't do that. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> No! <laughs> it's an hour over. Hour over! Yay! We're gonna end now. Bye! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <just> abruptly end. <laughs> no music or anything. Actually, why not? Bye! <laughs>